We Who am I? Shaq or Sh- Shaq or Kobe? You, whoever you want, man. It's your world. I guess I got to be Kobe. <laughs> I guess I got to be But Kobe used to get mad at Shaq, too, so. Yeah, yeah, you know. All right, All right the guys. draft star- started. All right, welcome to First of 15. The only oh, yeah, we got a show. to get you paid. I'm here with two-time FFPC champion, AB. Alongside him is my guy, Dio the Machine. This is our main event draft. We have pick number 10. And so far, the draft just started. So let's get going, guys. Um, right now, Jonathan Taylor, C Mac, first two off the board. Um, oh, yeah, you did. Nothing surprised. Yeah, yeah. And when you slam it on the <laughs> table like that, it's like. My bad. Here, let me put it on the chair. All right, all right. So, yeah, we got the 10th pick. Uh, so, first of all, yeah, main event. Okay, yeah. main event start. Mm-hmm. You know, we did the football guys uh, the uh, episode previously. Yes, that sir. was the warm up. Uh, you see, I, if you're watching YouTube, you can see I got my iPad out. I got my laptop. He's ready out. today. He's, He's ready. ready. You know, I felt very naked, <laughs> naked without my, you know, without my devices at the last episode. So I feel more comfortable. You know, it's not yeah. even that, like you really need them. It's just that you feel more comfortable. And then I did feel like you know we missed out on the uh, Zach Ertz because I was like, all I got is my there. phone, man. <laughs> and I didn't even have the phone for half the draft last time. So yeah. now I got my weapon. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I got my little uh, right, blade. So- we see number three went uh, Austin, Austin Eckler. Eckler. All yeah, right, that's a little surprise right there. Honestly, I, don't, I mean, like, I'm to the point right now where, you know, I think we've had four or five months of, like, debating who goes first, who goes second, who goes third, et cetera, mm-hmm. you know, the order in the first round. And then it just kind of becomes somewhat set in stone. Mm-hmm. You have a little bit of kind of leeway here or there. But in all honesty, it really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I, you know, whether you draft Austin Eckler, even number one overall, yeah. you know, you can make the argument for almost anyone who's going in the first round, I think, to take one overall. Mm-hmm. Because there's no Stone Cold Stiller. You know, we got the C-Mac with the injury history. I know that's a big thing for you. We got yeah. Jonathan Taylor. They keep talking up Naheem Hines. Uh, and we know Hines is like lethal in the uh, you know pass catching. The coaches come out and said they don't want to give him a heavy workload. Mm-hmm. Uh, Austin Eckler obviously um, you know uh, really balled out last year. Mm-hmm. They added Sony Michelle. I don't really see that as a major threat. Definitely not in the receiving option, but maybe at the goal line. Who knows? And then you got Cup who balled out, but are we looking at regression? You got Justin Jefferson, new OC. He's still playing with Kirk Cousins, even though we like Kirk Cousins. Like, you got all these questions, Mark, and I think we just kind of gravitate to these guys. And, We're up in, you know, in we, three picks. We put them up on a stool. All right. All right. Enough all right, that. so let's look at the board right quick. Yeah. JT, C-Mac, Austin Eckler, uh, Justin Jefferson, Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase, and then we got Kels uh, with the seventh pick. We're two picks back. Thinking about anybody in particular or still just going to wait and see who's available at that point? You know you know who we – Oh man, they Damn. just took who I wanted. They yeah, just okay. took him. Just All right. Took, yeah. Um so All what right, you so thinking? Are thinking at this point? Uh so I'm not crazy necessarily about any of the uh wide receivers here as far as like we gotta have a mm-hmm. Stephon Diggs, we gotta have a C D Lamb. Uh I really want a running back here that like I don't want to miss out on a certain running back. Man. Right. That's Saquon. Like I feel like any of these other players, we can, could potentially get in the second, but I'm not going to be upset. But don't you have second. a fair amount of Saquon? I do. So, I'm, I'm open to other options. Let's go Swift. Swift. Swift was the 10th pick? Let's go Ooh. Swift. But you're feeling risky tonight. I, I mean, I think we can get Barkley on the back end. I'm just not a fan. Okay, well, I mean, if you want Barkley, we can take Barkley. You want Swift? We can take Barkley. No, we can take Barkley. I think we might even get Swift on the next on the, on the go-round. All right, twenty six. If we don't want a receiver, because Diggs is the receiver that we would consider. I don't mind. I don't mind not getting. There's a lot of receivers I like at that. Now let's go Barkley. Now. If that if it makes you comfortable, I mean, we could build the rest of the team. So let's go Barkley. All right. All right, going Barkley. And the only reason I'm going Barkley, the only reason I want to go Barkley, that was because of touches, 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 touches. Yeah. You know, the, uh, Swift. I'm kind of coming around a little bit on mixing too. Yeah, exactly. And I have no issues with mixing. Yeah. You know, we'll no see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Mike check. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. I'll be doing now, that you know, periodically. We had, yeah, we had we had a little discussion about like draft strategy, and I know a lot of people really like to know what pick they are so they can try to plan things out. I don't necessarily want to plan things out, but I like to like you know, given how many drafts I do, I like to do things a little differently sometimes. And you know, sometimes it's not in your hand. Sometimes it's better just to like take what the board gives you. Right. But I brought up the idea of like giving all the running backs that have fallen even a little bit past what we would consider like a dead zone, falling to the sixth, seventh round, some of these guys who were going in the third, fourth round, 
you know, just a few months ago. Like, do we want to look at like maybe loading up on wide receivers here, knowing we can get one of those, our pick of one of those. So running here's backs? the problem. Who, okay, who are the pick of the running backs we're gonna choose from? Like, because yeah, I mean, we we love Chase. Me and you both, we've loved Chase for a while, right? You yeah. know, his his ADP is starting to creep up, yeah. but we like him. Yeah. Even where he's going now, we're still okay with yeah. that. But other than Chase, I'm not a fan of Demon. I know you you're definitely somebody that would consider him. I and would consider know, him. Yeah, man, you don't have no problem the right with build. the right. You have no problem, but me personally, I'm not really liking his situation. I, I really yeah. think he's at risk of losing a lot of the the, the share of yeah. that backfield. Um, so that's that. Uh, I'm not, I'm trying to stay away from people with injury concerns like Cam Akers. Yeah. You know, so I don't want to yeah. go that route. Yeah. I mean, what are the running backs? Antonio Gibson. I no, mean, no, no. You know, not, so so it gets to a point where yeah, we like Chase, but what if when it comes our turn, we miss out on Chase? I think Elijah Mitchell is one guy that I'm kind of eyeing there because uh, just knowing. Not necessarily knowing we can get the uh, handcuff, but having a feel good or uh, having a, a sense that I can grab somebody like you know Jeff Wilson a little bit later, or even you know double tap it with uh, you know you know uh, Davis Price and Jeff Wilson. And we talked about obviously about a sleeper there. So, so <laughs> I know you're going to just. I told you I thought yeah, he would come back yeah. around. But, so. Look, so we All got right. Swift here, but we also got Najee here. And I know I know we're like not super high on Najee, but that's because Najee was going like in the mid first. I'm not concerned about this list, Frank, at all. I've talked with the ortho. Uh, You're not concerned colleague. at all. I, I talked with the ortho colleague when I when I brought up the word list, Frank. He laughed. He said it's either a list, Frank, or it's not. List, Frank's require surgery. They require extensive time. There's no way he's playing. But you're willing to take that he risk. Said, he said that they mixed. They meant that um, Najee was basically mincing words, and he just like literally was just the verbiage. So was you want Najee here? I'm, I don't have any shares of Najee, but I, again, we're going back to touches, touches, touches. And I am coming around on this offense. Let's take Najee. You okay with that? Let's take Najee, yeah. Okay, let's do let's it. Let's take Najee. Yeah. All right. All right. So he's someone who's like, and this is, this is, there's a certain phenomenon here. You took him? I didn't do anything. All right, let me, I'm, let me click on the button. I, I just got him. Yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's a certain phenomenon I think that happens kind of throughout draft season where there's a guy like, and we're like, okay, this guy's going to regress. You know, you know, the uh, Sharps are trying to like kind of necessarily, you know, fade to some degree or at least at a certain ADP. And we get to a point where we continue to fade. We continue to fade. We continue to fade where that, pay, that person becomes a value. Yeah. But then it still doesn't feel good because the whole, you know, mantra around this player the entire offseason has been one that sharks or high-stakes players yeah. don't want them. You know who's another good example of that is Derrick Henry. Now, he has a little bit more of an yeah. injury risk, but at what point do, these, do we allow these players to continue to be pushed down the board, you know? Mm -hmm. this, to some degree, there's an advantage to just, like, blocking out all the noise preseason or throughout the offseason and just kind of coming in a little bit fresh or doing your so, – So the way I'm thinking about it, um, first of all, just speak, speaking on um, Najee in general, I'm a little concerned about his situation. Yeah. I do think the Steelers are going to take a step back yeah. just as an offense as a whole. Um, I don't really trust Trubisky. I don't really know what pick it is yet. Mm -hmm. He might be, you know, that rookie quarterback this season. You know, every year it seems to be at least one. Yeah. But I still don't know what he is yet. Yeah. Um, that injury does concern me. I mean, it's a running back that had a foot yeah. injury. Re whether it's a sprain. Yeah. Even it's probably not – he might not have said the proper term. If the doctor that you spoke has said that it's either – Liz Frank or it's not, and if it is an knee surgery, is a, then maybe it really wasn't a Liz Frank. Maybe that's just what he's saying. Exactly. But, but regardless, even if it's not a technical Liz Frank, he had a foot injury, you know, and it, it was a foot injury that made them want to keep him out for pretty much all of camp, you know, so. Yeah. But that, just, that, that being said, that being said, that injury is healed. Because he, he played in a preseason game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he it might have so, healed, but, but it's still something that, it, it, something happened there. But that's, that's every play on the board. No, 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 no. Something happened there recently, and it's a foot injury for a running back, and it's a risk where I feel like you don't really have to take it that early. Now, now the only reason why I am okay with it, yeah. to be honest with you, is because I don't have much Najee. Yeah. Same. And like for you were sure. saying earlier, typically he was going in the first round. Yeah. This is a value. So if I'm ever going to get a share, yeah. it's almost like we were talking about Pitts last year. If I'm mm -hmm. ever going to get a share, yeah. this is the time to get him. So, I mean, all it's right. all good, so. So let's go back through the board for a second. C.D. Lamb was the first pick of the second round. Derrick Henry, we took Najee, uh, DeAndre Swift, Alvin Kamara, and then Joe Mixon. Why not take Alvin Kamara there? Is 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 Najee's I have, value? I have so much third round Kamara in both football guys and main events. It mm -hmm. makes no sense for me. Yeah, to you know, it, let, let's like, explain that. Let's explain that. It so, makes no sense. So for me to do that. The, there was a good amount of time 
we, I don't know if Chris was yeah. doing this as well, but mm -hmm. I definitely know me and Abby, when we were getting in drafts, Kamara was going in the third round, and we kind of made a point to say every time we saw them there, grab him. Yeah, no mm -hmm. matter where. So draft yeah. him in the third as much as we can. So with that occurring and us having a good handful of drafts with Kamara in the third round, mm -hmm. now we're dra drafting these days, it kind of feels – kind of off yeah. or like we're we're pay, we're overpaying now mm -hmm. for him in the second round yeah. you know so it's almost like we had our share yeah. let's enjoy that let's move yeah. on to the next value because like yeah. we always say if somebody goes up yeah. that means somebody else went down you yeah. know so I want to so, I want to go back real quick to the Najee thing cuz a couple mm -hmm. things I want to talk on uh I know initially I was very concerned about the offense but I think I've seen just enough particularly from the rookie Kenny Pickett uh I've seen and heard just enough about the offense and kind of what they're doing in practice to, for me to feel like there's actually upside. Yeah, it could go either yeah. way, but I actually feel like there's a little bit of upside. But this is the other thing, too. They have receiving weapons. Like, you can't just – you can't get away with, like, loading up the box and having a Pickens out there, a Claypool, and a Deontay. And you got Pat Fryer Muse. So, in my mind, like, I, 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 you know, I like that. And then this is the, this is the kicker. It's a small thing, but just enough – you know, paying attention to, like, obviously all the people that got cut and then also to some of the people who uh, didn't get cut, but they let go of McFarland. Yeah. You know, and... But McFarland wasn't there last year. The, the real he handcuff... Was, he wasn't, but I feel like, to me, there's nobody on that roster that risks his third down role, his receiving role. Yeah, but McFarland wasn't doing that last year either. The only risk really was Benny Snell, Benny Snell. and then now... Jalen Warren. So it's all McFarlane was never really a factor. So that didn't really. Well, it's not that he wasn't a factor last year. It's that he could have been a factor this year. Of course. So I mean, of course. So, so him not I mean, being but, there. But, this okay, year. but him not being there, all that did was he was replaced with somebody else. Now Warren is the guy that's there. I don't know? think it's a one to one replacement. No, McFarlane, I think, offers a McFarlane, little bit more than a McFarlane passing has game. never done anything in the league. We don't know what McFarlane. We, we no, know I, from him. I'm in college. not saying that. I'm saying that the potential there for him to be in a I mean, but game. Warren has potential too. Warren beat out McFarlane. The guy that you're speaking yeah. of with the skill set was about beaten out by undrafted yeah, rookie. But you're talking about from an overall running back standpoint. I'm not I'm talking about, about. I'm not talking about from. I'm not even talking about. I'm not talking about any specific aspect of it at all. Because honestly, I don't really know much about Warren to really tell you what he's good at yeah all i know is he beat out mcfarland and that risk uh, that concern we had at mcfarland who never it never ever really played out now yeah. you you have to say there's more risk with warren because at least he's gonna see the field unless he gets hurt you know that's a, okay that's a whole different discussion so got you. i got you i got so you so let's go back and look at the board a bit because we didn't talk about andrews going in the first how do you guys feel about mark andrews going i mean that's where he he kind of goes in the back end first mid yeah. and second you I, know so early second is kind of where i've seen him so no i've seen him okay in the with, first yeah yeah and like i said like i don't think whoever you want to take in the first second at the back end doesn't right really matter. right at the, yeah. it, that part of the draft really from like 109 yeah. to even 206 mm -hmm. it really can be any order it's really then about just the preference of the bill and you want to make. I'm, you know, I'm really coming around to Andrews, and this was an issue that uh, or a mistake I made last year, just like completely fading him. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, he's going a lot higher this year, but that offense to me, I've just been hearing nothing but good things about Lamar in practice. But this, like the the real critical factor there is that none of their elite running backs are healthy. Mm, yeah. I don't I don't see this offense just necessarily just going through. So I've actually been trying to get a little bit more Lamar too as well because I feel like he's going to have to do a lot. Yeah. And I'm hearing a lot of good things, a lot of positive vibes. The offensive line is a little bit more healthy. So we'll see we'll see what he does. But I like it's either going to be Andrews or Bateman really. And then obviously they got Isaiah Likely who's coming on a little bit. But I love seeing Keenan Allen go. I hate making that choice. All right, guys, we're getting Allen. close. Also, Pittman okay. back into the second. How do you guys feel about Michael Pittman going there? I don't hate it. Uh, it's, just, it's probably not for me. Again, really, this early in the draft is really just about just building whatever build you want. Yeah. Value, I don't want to say it's flat, but you can value anybody anywhere because you're still taking yeah. primary options on, on certain teams right now. Pittman is the number one wide receiver there, you know. So, you know, I have no problem with it. I like Pittman. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Pittman outscores – any of the wide receivers that went after, like, Diggs, you know. So, mm -hmm. so you know, just do what I, you want to do yeah. with your team. I'm a Q guy, so I've loaded my Q. Um, <laughs> I'm really looking at one guy. I'm looking at DJ Moore. I, would love, I would love DJ Moore here. Yeah, and, I, and you have DJ over T. Higgins, correct? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I, and I'm a Cortland Sutton guy, too. I know you're not. Uh, right, DJ, DJ just DJ went. DJ just went. So, I got four guys in my I kind of like T over Sutton, though. I wouldn't mind that. I feel like I feel like the 
upside with Sutton is the true number one. And we're just – that's all we've heard is that, like, he's been Russell Wilson's guy. And I love the division that they play in, too. Uh, but I wouldn't knock Our decision might be made for us anyways. Yeah. And so this three, I'm happy with these three guys that I got in my queue here. Who's the third guy, Mike Williams? No, actually, Travis, ETN. ETN? Yeah. I wouldn't mind going three. Because there's a guy in the seventh round that a lot of times makes it back. And he may not make it back, but there's other guys there. Maureen Higgins just went. Yeah. So we're looking at Sudden or ETN. Now you are on the clock. ETN just went. Okay. So you want Sudden? I definitely want Sudden, yeah. Okay. Unless you, unless you feel strongly about Mike Williams. Mike Williams may have a chance to come back. Sutton is the higher up at the 80. I mean, really, I kind of see them the same. Yeah. I have no problem with Sutton, so we can go Sutton. You sure you're good with that? Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to go Josh Allen here. You no, no, no. Idea? Definitely not Josh Allen. <laughs> um, All right. I want to see which wide receiver falls back to this yeah. next round. But I, I like to start because – I'm eyeing Allen Robinson. Yeah. When you, when you do the, you know, the two RB start, like – I think you need to be uh, smart about which wide receiver. And, yeah, any wide receiver can, like, blow up at any point, injury, just, you know, taking that next leap, next step or whatever. But I like the idea of potentially targeting, like, a, a true number one wide receiver. And, I, again, I just love the division that he plays in. Like, I really do. Uh, so, hopefully, hopefully that, you know, pans out. I've definitely been loading up on Sutton recently. All right, Mike Williams just went. Yeah. I'm coping on um, Allen Robinson Falls. If not him, I wouldn't mind one of these tight ends. Um, I think that's kind of where I'm hope, yeah. Waller, hoping. Yeah, Waller. Waller, I really wouldn't mind, but I know we like to wait a tight end, so I don't mind. I wouldn't mind Waller. I wouldn't mind Waller. All right, Josh Allen. Just seeing how it falls because yeah. I mean, yeah, we we got solid running backs and yeah. a, a solid wide receiver. Yeah. But I do kind of like it, Allen Robinson. All right, like, have I, you loaded up the queue yet? Yeah. Let me right. take this dude out the queue because I really don't want him in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at the queue right now, we got Allen Robinson and Darren Waller. Who do you prefer out of those two? Right, let's see if, uh, you don't really care for uh, Allen Robinson. No, right? actually, I've been coming around. I've been coming around. Um, so out of those two, tell the know, people they want to know. <laughs> I like knowing that TJ Hawkins has been falling to the six in some drafts, and then we can get somebody like a Goddard. Uh, you know, in reality, like you're looking at a situation where like Waller potentially – might be the number three tar in targets. It's a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, and they seem to really like Abdullah, like leaving it, you know, having them sit. Oh, uh, we got both. Both options. I would say let's go Allen Robinson. Okay, let's do it. And this is another playoff of like a position that he does not play on that team. Their running back situation and their running game is in flux right now. They definitely kind of, you know, won the Super Bowl and advanced to the playoffs and did so well during the regular season, really through the passing game and through Matt Stafford's arm. Mm -hmm. So for me, like, it's going to have to be through the air. And so I like Allen Robinson. And okay. we get that Thursday night preview. Right, right, right. Allen Robinson? Yeah. You're 100% sure? I'm good with that. All right. So I'm kind of liking the start. I'm really liking the start. Um, partly because we got guys who are going to, like, see a lot of carries. Running backs are going to see a lot of carries. We're going to get a lot of targets. And we get and we got wide receivers uh, who are also going to see a lot of targets as well. Yeah, I like it too. It's, it's yeah. a different type of team than I've had, which mm -hmm. usually actually kind of excites me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that kind of sounds weird. Yeah. You know, people are like usually like get your guys. You know, mm -hmm. and I've I've drafted enough where I've gotten my guys. Yeah. And sometimes you need something to kind of push you over to the other guy because I'll be honest with you, I wasn't on JT last year. Yeah. But there was drafts where I kind of. Had to yeah, take him, yeah, and those ended up being my best team. So mm. yeah, remember, that was like, remember, I think it was like my first main that I did, and he like, you know, something came out, and then he like was sliding into like the second, and it was that same thing. It was like at some point, like the narrative on a player or the vi or the, like, you know, the way you know that we sort of kind of you know knock a player pushes their you know pushes their ADP down to the point where they are just a value. You got to right. like, you don't have to take them, but and it's value versus trap. Now. But one of the things we did say before we started recording is sometimes people slide down for a reason. Yeah. That's so value versus don't, trap. Yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah. So <laughs> don't, value versus trap. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught in that trap where you're like, yeah. this guy used to go so high and now he's here. So now it's a value. Like, nah, there's a reason yeah. the guy is going down. Somebody like an acres for me is somebody I'm just kinda yeah. like like I don't really know what's going on with him. He's 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 hurt. He's yeah. practicing. He's hurt. He's practicing. We're hearing the coach say he has a 1A and 1B. You know, it's just too much uncertainty there. And, and I don't like taking picks where 
I regret it later. Like, yeah. damn, I saw this coming. Like, yeah. I, I beat myself up on stuff yeah. like that. You know, if I if I make a mistake, let it be an ignorant mistake where yeah. I just wasn't aware. So yeah. And looking at the board, so we're at the ten spot. So uh, the sixth spot has a tight end. The seventh spot has a tight end. The eighth spot has a tight end. Twelfth spot has a tight end. I like when people around me have tight ends. Yeah. Because that's typically when like somebody who normally wouldn't fall can fall. Right. You know, in the main, I think people are not as likely to double up on tight ends early. You know, as they would in the FPG trying to you know trying out creative builds. So I like that. And, and, Remember and what I told you last episode? I like Goddard. Yeah. Like yeah. I wouldn't mind Goddard. If Goddard somehow fell to us, I'd be happy. Yeah. Of course, I'm not going to reach on him. And yeah. where we are now, it's that's kind of a weird place yeah. as far as whether we're going to be able to get him. Um, but again, I like to just yeah. let the board fall. And what I've been noticing is that, like, you know, it seems like quarterbacks are creeping up just a tad bit. Definitely an FBG, and that may be the uh, influx of new drafters. But most of the drafts I've been in recently are over at the football guys. Is there uh, a quarterback you're going to try to target? Uh, no, I mean, I think it just, it, it'll depend on who's there in the six for me. Uh, so the six Chase will be there. So it's a round that you're targeting here. Well, Chase will be there. Chase. Edmonds will be there. Chase Edmonds oh, Edmund, will be there. Okay. Chase Edmonds will be there. Okay. Uh, I, was, yeah, I was talking no. quarterback. You just threw me out like, who is Ch <laughs> like yeah. Chase Daniels? Like, no. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think there are running backs. Who, so, you, so you're willing to take Chase in the six now? Yeah. I, I remember at the very beginning, I said, I told, I, I said in the very beginning, he belongs in the sixth I, I round. I understand. I'm just saying you're willing to I take him. I said he belongs in the fifth round. Okay. Let me ask you yeah. uh, differently. You're willing to take him at 603? Oh, yeah, that's where we would take them. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But again, we'll, we'll see who's there. So if you're in a situation, I, I this is not a team that. where we necessarily have to do it, but we still, I think, well, have. A I guess the question I ask for you then is, the way you feel about Chase Edmonds, are you willing to gamble him p potentially falling to the seventh round? No, because I don't. Think oh, you're he'll like fall. if he if he's there at the six, I don't want to risk losing him. I don't think he'll fall. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the thing about Chase too is I love running backs where I can like get a. So let's talk about up. Chase a little bit though. Yeah. Just a real, and I've wanted to talk yeah. about this for a few weeks, yeah. right? But let's think back to our mindset last year. Yeah. Where was Chase Edmonds? He was on the Cardinals, mm -hmm. right? He was the newly uh, ingrained starting running back for, you know, Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury, right? I never saw him as a starter. But he was. I, I didn't Who think Who was a starter, starter last year? James Conner. He nah, wasn't. like Chase Edmonds. Abby, it was, come on. It was, Abby, it was, stop. Chase was stop. I never we thought all, Chase Everybody in the whole fantasy community, that including was, you, that yeah. was not let me tell you what. Let me let me let me finish okay. my point. Yeah, go ahead. You were. But let me finish my point. <laughs> so we what we ended point. up doing because we had the discussion was we started to target James Conner. Yeah. Because we mm -hmm. were like we we've never seen Edmonds hold up for a yeah. whole season as the main back. Yeah. He's never really been the starter. Yeah. Um, and if he gets hurt then the backup running back on that team is going to have value because he's with that Cardinals offense. Yeah. So we ended up drafting a fair amount of Connor, which actually worked out for us. So with that same mindset, let's yeah. now fast forward to now, yeah. today. Same situation. Chase mm -hmm. Edmonds is a starting running back for the Dolphins. Yeah. He's never really been able to hold a full work workload for the full season. And this is kind of me playing devil's advocate because I yeah. like Chase Edmonds. Y'all yeah. yeah. know I love Chase Edmonds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But should we – Take into account that there's a possibility that Edmonds cannot hold up mm. that full 17 and really the number two running back on that team, because they got rid of everybody else almost, yeah. the number two running back on that team might have pretty significant value. You know, am I, am I, am I kind of making sense a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my thing is I don't think it's the same situation. So the, the main reason that I wasn't on Edmonds last year is because they had a QB who ran and historically stole a lot of TDs. You know, and I was concerned about that as well as a QB who didn't necessarily like always target the, the running back. The reason I like Chase this year is because of the run scheme that he's going to be in, or at least the potential for that run scheme. The zone blocker. Also, his, uh, his role in a passing game. Like, I've heard from a lot of beat writers that he could potentially be like the number third in targets. And we yeah. know he's very, very good at that. Yeah. And, and, and you know, obviously hindsight's 2020. Yeah. But we can sit here and actually say James Conner got a good amount of receptions last year. Yeah. In that offense. So it actually was a situation where the running back for the Cardinals yeah. produced fair amount. And I even think the, the games Edmonds did play, yeah. he actually did pretty well in the passing game. Now, I agree with you. It is a different offense. Yeah. You know, so, but I just think that's something to consider. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Because the way we got on Connor last year, yeah. if we kind of go down that same rabbit hole, then we might want to consider getting a little bit on, on Moster. If, but the question is, Moster, can Moster hold but up? That, but that's what I love about the Chase Edmonds situation is that we can get Moster like in the 13th, 14th round. 
And so every, almost every single main that I've been in, I've been getting Edmonds. And this was like kind of really before he started coming up. But then just getting most of it afterwards. Got you. Uh, and I kind of got lucky and fortunate the fact they cut Michelle, you know. And there may be another way running back in the wings. They may sign someone like – we can never just look at a situation and say, oh, they cut somebody, so like they, we don't have to they worry still about They still got Miles Gaskin. Yeah, so, so there's always mm-hmm. you know, somebody potentially in the wings. Look wing, at this. These quarterbacks are going kind of high, don't you think? That's what I'm saying. So the, the quarterbacks have been going a little bit higher. But I, I, I like that. I like that because I either want the go, quarterbacks to go very high uh, or, uh, you know, fall down. And like they go high, then that means value is falling to us. So if they go late, then I can, we can try and grab one before that QB run starts. You know, we've got to build out. Who are you looking at right here? Uh, I don't even want to say because I already know he's going to get taken. Who? Uh, Rashad Bateman. No, it's crazy. I'm looking at Hall. Yeah, I, I, I don't Bruce? believe in. I don't believe in that situation. Me either. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's the number one running back taken in the draft, and now he's going because I've usually seen him going in the third and fourth. He's been, his, his ADP We're in the back and fifth. Where, where's his ADP on uh that website? Fantasy Mojo. Fantasy Mojo, uh, five five oh four. Okay, so I mean, right now, if we're five ten, it's still pretty. I'm just saying, I don't have much Brees Hall, but if we're going to get him this If the it was a good offense, him. I wouldn't have any issue. Okay. So, you like Bateman? I mean, you know I like Bateman. We took Bateman, yeah. Bateman mm-hmm. on our last team, so yeah. I'm good with Bateman. Smoking Joe's making oh. that decision. Um. Trap, trap. <laughs> now you were trapped with, with, with Brees Hall. Oh, he took a, he took a good one. So. I like Mooney, too. Not here. Maybe on the other go around, but I know you like yeah. Edmonds. I mean, we could take Bateman. I know Hall's not going to make it back to us. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, if you're willing to, like, if you – Oh, I think mm-hmm. we got to go Bateman here. Okay, take Bateman. I mean, we don't have to, but I like Bateman here. And the reason that I like Bateman here is because it'll be up to you, but we'll have a decision about – oh, actually, Lamar went never mind, so really. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Those wide receivers went. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm good with Bateman here. Okay. You want to do it? You can go, go Bateman. Uh, I mean, we have so many options on this comeback. Yeah. Like, so, I like Hall, like I just said. Yeah. I like Mooney. I like Goddard. Yeah. I don't mind Hawkinson if you just want to go that route. I don't want to – do Dobbins, there's been a lot of controversy with him and his, his recovery. But, again, those situations where the, the injury okay. st- status yeah. is just so iffy, so I just want to avoid, yeah. man. So, let me tell you. That, so, it looks like Ertz has been falling. Okay, yeah. If you guys don't have fantasy mojo and you're drafting in the football guys, like, yeah. I mean, some people don't need it. Uh, some people, don't, you know, want to use it as part of their strategy. And definitely, you know, there's some uh, merit to that. Uh, but I, I, find, I, I personally find it helpful. But looking at uh, fantasy mojo uh, – uh, Zach Ertz is going right now at 712. I'm not sure what's accounting for his uh, fall in ADP, but if you can, if we can get Zach Ertz in the seventh, would you want to like pass up on Goddard here? Or would you still feel like Goddard is a value here? If we can get, if we can get Ertz in the seventh, I think we can get him in the eighth because yeah. Team mm-hmm. 12 has a tight end already. Yeah. I'm willing to risk <clears throat> one team skipping on the tight end. Yeah. Um, but I think that's a discussion we have a little later. I okay. think right now. Jamie and we need to be deciding if we want to go wide receiver or running back because I know you want Edmonds. Yeah. I'm looking at where Edmonds is on the queue. He's way well, down there. I'm I mean, open. it's a reach. I'm open for tight end. I'm open for – No, but if you're that sold on Edmonds, I mean, this is the place we're going to have to take him. Yeah. But, uh, again, Hall is just – I don't. I mean, I think Hall has just a high ceiling. Whether his situation at the moment, like today, is not the greatest, by week four or five he can be that main back. And yeah. he, he might be that good, you know? Hey, we, if we get him in 603, like, that's one of those situations, you know, again, trap or value. Yeah. Excuse me. I mean, because even if he's not the, even if he doesn't give yeah. us the greatest output in the early part of the season, yeah. he's going to be our, our final flex right now. Yeah, I guess I guess we, we can find somebody yeah. else that can no, probably I mean, fill that hole. What I'm saying is if you feel strongly about it, like, I don't mind I, taking it, a risk. It's not really a strong thing. It's just he's just falling. Yeah. He just falling. And I, again, I mean, I don't want to say this is a trap because I don't think he's bad. I don't think it's a skill issue with him. Yeah. I think it's more of a role. Yeah. Do you think you don't you think Carter will kind of fade to the background? At some point, yeah. At some point I do. Oh, Elijah Mitchell just went good. All right, so Elijah Mitchell just went. Damian Pierce went in the fifth. Uh D Montgomery, last pick of the fifth. We're one pick. If away. we don't go Hall, you like Mooney? Or who no, do you like no, right I now? I got so much Mooney. Like I'm I have a lot of Mooney, too. Yeah, but I'm fine. I, 
I got Brees Hall, Brees Hall in the six is pretty good value. That's damn good value. Yeah. But again, like, why is he like get back to you going back to your point? No, no, no. Why is he I, I hear you. I, I definitely hear you, and I think I know why he's falling. He's falling because people are concerned about Michael Carter. It's, uh, Michael okay, Carter. it's not an injury issue. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can't say it's an offense issue because the offense is the same from the beginning of summer to now. Yeah. There's nothing that's come yeah. up. If anything, we can say the offense is probably better with Flacco. Yeah. So the only thing that's come out is the hey. blurb of Michael Carter. Let's grab Brees Hall. You said what? Let's grab Brees Hall. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying, though? I get it. I get it. Hey, hey. And honestly, like, if I was doing this grab by myself, I'd be looking at this. This would be a tough decision. And I'd be like, you know what? He's right there. Yep, he's right there. Dobbins. I mean, if it's not. Let's take this one down to the wide. No, we can take it down to the wide because because (laughs) the only other consideration I have is Mooney. Yeah. But, again, we have a lot of Mooney. Yeah. But, again, I I don't mind taking Mooney here, though, because I still think this is a value, 603. Right now, we will – you know, obviously we're saying right now that, okay, look, we're punting the tight end position to late, essentially. Yeah, yeah I'm good by with that. Pass, by passing tight end. Well, so, so we're punting it for this round. We, we'll see what happens yeah, next for round. this round. Yeah. So, knowing, like, the guys that fall to, to us in the seventh, knowing that I can feel comfortable putting those guys in my flex, mm-hmm. I don't mind taking Brees Hall here. Because even if he's not good, the guy in my set that we're taking the remember, seventh. Remember that Scott Berry article that he put out where he's, like, upside wins championships? Man, you, man, you remember that? The yeah, okay. Hall, there we go. Click the button. <laughs> <laughs> Let's click the button on Brees Hall, man. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm just hey, saying, hey. if he ends up being great, we yeah. got to – and he's our last flex, remember. Yeah, the last flex. We're good enough. And I, I wanted to say this before. Yeah. But, yeah, we're doing this draft. We did a draft last episode. We're doing a draft now. In all honesty, fantasy football, drafting is like half of it. Yeah. It mm-hmm. might even be less than that, you know. I think – in-season management pickups, whether it's waiver, free agent pickups, whatever, are so important. You mm-hmm. know, like people are so so focused on how they do in the draft, and then they, they look at the draft and they make predictions how their season's going to play out. Yeah. You can't do that. This is a game of attrition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Things happen all the time. People are going to get hurt. People are going to lose jobs. You know, the people that are drafted Antonio Gibson back in June, they had – no idea yeah. it was gonna play out the way it played out. Yeah. You know, so they've been on a roller coaster, right? <laughs> what? What? So yeah. I mean, when you when you draft these guys, I mean, yeah, okay. Again, we took Brees Hall here. If he doesn't work out, yeah, we'll probably work to find a replacement. You yeah. know, we're we're gonna obviously try to build our team where our backups are gonna be yeah. valuable enough to where we need them, we can play yeah. them. But on the flip end, if Brees Hall ends up being that dude, yeah. again, he's the number one running back in the draft. Yeah. The first running back drafted. The Jets traded up to get him. His competition is Michael Carter, who is good, yeah. talented, but he's still, what, a, a third, fourth round yeah. running back? Um, I mean, I, I, I kind of see it as a guy yeah. that could really take us over the top. And the crazy thing is, there's a chance we could take Michael Carter later if we yeah. want because Michael Carter ends up going pretty yeah. late. And so. we don't have to. but No, definitely know, we don't have yeah. to, yeah. All right, so looking at the looking board. At? Looking at the board, you see anybody that like the surprise you shocks or, or or surprise that you know maybe they was taken a little too early or too late. Uh, like the that's been drafted or that yeah, hasn't been drafted. I, like Waddle, uh, Waddle falling to five hundred two. Yeah, but five. Waddle's hurt. I think that's yeah. what caused that. Yeah, yeah, he's been hurt, and we really haven't heard weeks, yeah. weeks. Yeah, but he's gonna eventually come back. But it's just so ominous right now, and yeah. they're not even really telling us what the injury is. Yeah. He hasn't practiced at all. Like it's not even a thing where he's working his way back. He's actually just not practicing. So I don't uh, know what it is to, there. Number five had to double up on tight end. We would have been we would have been sitting yeah. nice at like potential <laughs> Earths there. No, that's okay. Yeah. I, I think Ertz is still gonna because I don't and think we don't need it. We don't need Ertz. It's not like I'm like I don't think people look Ertz. at it like, oh, the tight ends are dra- drying up. Let me hurry up and draft the tight yeah. end. I don't think people look at the way I look at it. If somebody drafted the tight end there, some other value fell. Yeah. Oh, and your boy Jace, Chase Edmonds Chase, just went. Chase went. Yeah. I mean, I expect that. Like, I, I wouldn't expect yeah, that. Yeah, that was a risk to take. I knew he wasn't going to go any yeah. further. Yeah. Again, and with Chase Edmonds, either we were going to have to reach or we were going to have to help he fail. Like, we weren't going to be able Chase to get him already, at, so. at value. Mm-hmm. I, True. I, yeah, I got a ton of stuff. So. In, in Maine. So, it's not it's, it's not something I'm necessarily, like, concerned about. I think Kyler's going to go off this board soon. Yeah. There, there he goes. He just went, actually. Um, And I've only bring that up because – in past drafts I've done, and maybe I haven't done enough drafts recently, but I usually am seeing quarterbacks going to seven. Yeah. Like, that's where I'm seeing, like, three, four yeah. quarterbacks going. And mm-hmm. now we're not even in the seventh yet, and literally, you know, all the, the top-end yeah. quarterbacks are gone. It's the same. You know? Quarterbacks so getting pushed up. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely interesting. Um. But that, you know, uh, in essence, if we weren't going to get those quarterbacks anyway, which was probably in all likelihood, uh, it's good for us because I think it, you know, pushes – Push the players down. I like seeing Brandon Ayuk and Devontae Smith go there. 
Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't get the Ayuk at this air, you know, in the sixth. I, I, I mean, I just, I don't get it. I think a lot of um, buzz about how he was doing in um, camp. Yeah, but I mean, like, kind of got to people. So is he gonna like overtake Debo and Kittle? Like, or they're even gonna be a. I don't even really think like, people are really thinking that far into yeah. it. Just the fact that he's doing so well. I mean, I think I've seen stuff where they're saying he's. He's shown that he's the lead guy there. And, again, it goes to your point. Debo wasn't yeah. there for a lot of the time. Yeah. So, I think, you know, it's hard for people to, like, take all that information and get so vested into it yeah. and then get this new information, like, let it blow yeah. it up. They're still kind of high on IU. And I don't have a problem with IU. Talent-wise, he was a first-round pick. Yeah. I think last year just soured a lot of us on him because yeah. he got in that doghouse so yeah. easily and so long. Um, but, but, how much but, again, money the point you made – like, how, like right, how much right. money you pay Debo? Right, the point you made as far as yeah. Debo is significant enough for me to say, eh, I'm not really feeling it yeah. too much. And then Kittle's still there, of course. And then really the biggest thing is Lance might need some time <laughs> to get get it together. You know what I'm saying? So Yo, the ball, to me. like Ayuk is not getting carries out of the backfield. You got to get the ball out of the pass. So. <laughs> yeah, I really like the play. I, you know, going back to the upside pick in the six, like, you know, this is where, like, if you feel co- like you got to know. Urch is going to fall to us. Yeah. Okay, so when he falls to us, let's plan this out now. I'm not necessarily not saying that I want to take him if he falls okay. to us. Okay, so you're willing to let him go to the eighth? Yeah, I'm willing to let him go. Because the only risk we have is Team 11 sniping us. Because there's a there, there's some really good players here that are some strong flex plays. That so who do you like? Us, uh, you know, I'll say it right now. Uh, Kirk and Drake London are, like, guys, you two guys that I've, like, I think I like Drake over Kirk. I think Me I like too. Drake oh yeah, I definitely Kirk. like Drake. I actually don't have much Kirk, uh, but you know, saw enough in that preseason game. I, it's not so much like the, his stats. It was, you know, Trevor like looking at him, <laughs> you know, knowing that's probably not going to be a, a good team that they're probably going to be playing from behind. You know, you know, those things don't always necessarily pan out. But see, the thing with make Kirk, it and I know you asked me about him a, a while ago, but. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, they paid him the most, and he's probably going to be the guy. But he, first of all, he's never been the guy yeah. for any team. Agreed. And Agreed. I would not be surprised whatsoever if Trevor Lawrence is just throwing it to just everybody running routes. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. uh, Zay Jones, Marvin Jones, yeah. Travis Etienne, Evan Ingram. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he just spreads it out to literally everybody out there, which yeah. means, you know, Kirk won't have as much value as we're really hoping yeah. for. While London, we know – we know yeah. London is the number one wide receiver. Yeah. I mean, health, you know, barring health, yeah. it ain't going to be Alameda Zacchaeus. Nah. So, and that's nope. the number two wide receiver. Nope. You could probably say Pitts is the number one wide receiver. Okay, whatever. But yeah. Pitts is still a tight end. As far as wide receivers, London is the guy. And, again, he was the number one wide right. receiver drafted in the, in the uh, draft. He got so, taken. Drake London just Well, there you go. Just went. I just did all that talking, yeah. and we can't even get him. Because <laughs> um, ADP, you know, this is obviously what you know, ADP is average, obviously. But yeah, the ADP was seven ten, so I, you know, had, had hopes. Are uh, you against Thielen? No, absolutely not. Seven ten. I haven't absolutely said not. his name because I thought he wouldn't come to us. But yeah, yeah. He's, same he's steadily here. falling. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm fine here with Thielen, Renfro, or Kirk, uh, and then also I added uh, Ramondre Stevenson to the list. Uh, I don't know what's going on with uh, Ty, Ty, Montgomery. Ty Montgomery. Number one, I don't, you know, I don't want to say that I don't think Ty Montgomery is good, but I don't think Ty Montgomery is all that good. But even that being said, Thielen like, just went too. They're just yeah. taking everybody I'm mentioning. <laughs> but even that being said, like, you know, if Ramondre's really getting some more third down work, and we know Damian Harris has a hard problem staying healthy, like, I mean, we could be looking at a situation where, like, Harris could really be. Kirk just went. Yeah. Um, what you thinking here? Renfro or Stevenson, or you just want to go Ertz? Ertz is probably not going to get back to us. Yeah, let's take Ertz now because all those guys you just mentioned, I'm good with. So yes. I don't mind missing out on them. I, I, to be totally forthcoming, I'm not huge on Ertz. Yeah. But I know you like Ertz. And yeah, if we're I, just looking at the other options, I, I like Ertz him. Looks, I don't, I'm, I'm fine passing on him. Like, I'm fine passing Well, on who him. else will we take here? Ramondre Stevenson or Hunter Renfro. You really like Ramondre? Upside. Mm-hmm. Let's take him. I mean, he's at the top of the queue, he's not coming back to us. Who was the other guy you mentioned? Uh, Hunter Renfro. I'm fine passing on Hunter because uh, I can see Amari, Amari Cooper making it back to us too yeah. as well. And then let's go uh, Stevenson. And then uh, I don't have much Stevenson either, yeah. so this is a very unique build for me. And, it's, uh, it's all good though. Kadarius Tony is like that uh, fail safe play. I like Kadarius. Yeah, Kadarius is just you know we gotta if we get Kadarius we gotta grab Wondell. Yeah, we gotta grab Wondell. 
But Kadarius is just like one of those players, like, you know, I worry about him from a mental standpoint. I worry about him from a physical standpoint. But, like, when he's mm. on the field, like, man, he could really be a league winner. So, Ramondre is our first bench player right now. Just yeah. if we're just filling up the roster spots, which is cool. Yeah. So, if Brees Hall is not the guy, theoretically, mm -hmm. the way we're building right now, Stevenson yeah. can fill that role. Yeah. And I'm good with that, especially if he, number one, overtakes Damian. Number two, if Ty Montgomery's not ready. Number three, just all the buzz talking about how he's improving mm -hmm. on – his route running, his yep. pass blocking, and just yeah. going to a second year just in general. You know, it's another again, it's another upside pick. Amari just went. Yeah. Um, so it's all good. Right now I'm okay with Henfro or Ertz. I don't think Team 12 is going tight end. Of course they might. Uh, they just took Penny. Just took Penny. Um, I like that. Good. So, again, if Ertz oh, – so we're going to get one of the three between Renfro, Ertz, or Tony. So I love, I love this. Oh, Tony? Yeah. I mean, we could pass on Earths again. Like, I have no issue. Wait, where's Tony? Kadarius Tony's still on the board. Oh, I, for some reason, I totally missed hey, that. Hey, don't worry. I added him to the queue. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the queue. I like Tony <laughs> over Renfro. Upside, right? Your row's next. Renfro just went. Renfro just so went. now, okay, so it's Tony or Ertz. Ertz is at the very top. Yeah. Do you want to go with Ertz or you want to go with Tony? Ah, I like Tony. I would go with Tony. I like Tony. I like Tony. <laughs> we, we have Barkley, so you don't mind the two Giants? Uh, not one, not of his those two. Okay. Not of his those two. Let's roll with Tony. But it is a little scary. We're doing two drafts now with late tight ends. I'm good with it, and though. And Daniel Jones, we trust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good so with it, though. We don't got to trust Daniel Jones. We got to <laughs> just trust Dayball. Because if Daniel Jones is not doing his job, then. Oh, for some reason, I thought we were on the clock. I'm like, why is my phone not updating? Yeah, nah. nah so this nah, guy yeah. might take. Shoot, he could take Ertz. He, he took Ertz. He, he was so, yeah, he was debating. So, let's go, um, Tony. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like, I'm liking this build a lot. This is upside. It's a beautiful build, man. Okay. So, oh, we're, we're good. Upside. Oh, this is beautiful. It's upside. This is, a, this is beautiful. All right. Because the thing with Tony is if, if Tony was healthy yeah. and practiced all training camp, I think his ADP would be higher. Of course, I'm definitely speculating here. But from what we saw from Tony last year when he was healthy, he shows he has that crazy upside. Yeah. Um, and they, they're already saying he's the number one wide receiver for the Giants team. Yeah. So, you know, let's, let's go all in. We, when, when we first started drafting this summer, we were high on the day bowl to yeah. Giants train. Yeah. We were like, man, we, you yeah. definitely were. I think you were the one that got us on the train. You, like, you train. gave us our boarding tickets and said, get on the train. <laughs> we're going. And, we're, and me and Chris are like, all right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Come on. So, so you know we like you Grab know what luggage. Dable. And here, here's and we're dip, we differ on this. Yeah, but I put very very little value on what I see in preseason games. Yeah, the way I see preseason, I, I see teams going out. Well, of course it's not every team, but I see teams going out just playing a vanilla offense, just yep. getting a, getting a view of their players because this is remember this is a time where they're evaluating. Yep. It's not so much caring about winning; it's more so caring about what they coach these guys, whether they're able to regurgitate it out on the field. Yeah. You know, so just showing vanilla offense, just hat on hat, you know, man on man, just just play football, yep. run simple schemes, you know. But then when the season starts, I, th I think that's when they're really going to show themselves. So, yeah, right. we can say – I'm sorry, just real quick. Yeah, we can mm -hmm. say teams like the Giants or whoever yeah. else, the Texans didn't really look good in their offense in the preseason. But, yeah. again, I just kind of ignore it. For me, mm -hmm. it's all about um, personnel groups – starters, um, and, and lack of injuries. So that's important. But I'm sorry, Chris, go ahead. You know, so we just had a, a run of running backs right quick, uh, and I'm surprised that Devin Singletary went after Miles Sanders, CPAC, Gibson, and Kareem Hunt. What do you guys think about this run of, run, this run of running backs? I and, mean, what – Yeah, pick uh, it. You can speak on soup it. Soup yours. Just pick, you know, pick basically who, who you want. Uh Singletary, I mean, you can, you can make an argument against and for all of these players. You know, the, argu the argument against Singletary, given he's the one that fell in the situation, is that it's a three-headed committee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and like, you know what's crazy? Yeah. We actually initially thought it was a two-headed committee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just totally disregarded <laughs> Zach Moss. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like Zach get out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like almost blind yeah. spot. Like, oh, yeah. we see you, Duke Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> and then looked over at Zach yeah. and the other two, you know. <laughs> but – I remember when I first saw the first blurb of him, I put in the group chat, like, Zach, Zach Miles is not dead. Like, yeah. And ever yeah. since then, he's he still, like, just kind of just been slowly yeah. beating. So, again, now it's a three-headed monster. Mm -hmm. So, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. 
But I still like Devin Singletary though. Yeah. yeah. Because I still think he's gonna be the main guy. Yeah. Um, but I can understand why he's falling. Oh, Daryl Henderson, damn. I yeah, know he wasn't gonna make it back, but I love seeing it. I like what team two did here. Uh I actually had a zero RB uh team that just did not turn out well. I drafted that here at the house. Mm -hmm. I just took I took a major, major <laughs> risk. <laughs> a risk that, you know, I the probably thing with team taken, two. But, yeah. The fact that they were giving Waddle so late. Yeah. That might be in the latest I've seen Waddle. That's yeah. extreme value. Yeah. Um, and again, just liking, you know, those those guys that are going to their second year, somebody like Elijah Moore has that yeah. upside that we're referring to. Yeah. So yeah, I like what Team Two did. And um and I mean, I would not be surprised if Darrell Henderson is the number one running back for the Rams yeah. on a few of these weeks. So, so much D Henderson. <laughs> um so we still need our obviously our tight end. We still need a quarterback. You want to get Russell Wilson to stack up with Sutton? Uh, depends on who falls here. You know who I don't have a lot of? Burrow. Uh, You're just going to take Naked Burrow? I would not mind taking Naked Burrow. Uh, I, but I don't mind taking Russell Wilson here either. I think Russell is a better pick. Okay. If I was to choose, I was, who would I would go with? And it, our decision might be made for us. Actually, yeah. no. Who, who needs a quarterback? So, yeah, three teams in front of us need a quarterback. Yeah. So, our decision might be made for us. George Pickens is starting to creep up. I like George Pickens. Yeah. Just because, again, it's one of those upside picks. We all know Deontay gets hurt. Deontay got hurt in the last preseason game. And we waiting on tight end here? Uh, well, if we were not waiting on tight end, who would you go with? Fire move? Possibly, but we can wait on tight end. <laughs> <laughs> not, I mean, at this point, uh, we've waited so long. Yeah, yeah, he might as well. We can, yeah, we can keep yeah, waiting. I'm not a fire move guy. What did we do last time? Njoku, right? I uh, still like Njoku. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I still that's, like Njoku. That's the only person I'm really thinking Yeah, I still about. like Evan Ingram. <laughs> yeah. I still yeah. like Conklin. Yeah. Uh, I have no problem with Higby like we did. I mean, all these guys I'm good with, yeah. they're all the same value to me as fire move. So. Burrow just went. Burrow just went. That was kind of our fail. Save. That dude doubled up on quarterback. Yep. He so, did? In a yeah. main? He did. Double so up. that means these other three teams, they're probably going to feel uh, feel a little heat. Yeah. Do any of them mm -hmm. have Judy? Yeah, this team up has Judy. So he might want to pair mm -hmm. Judy up with um with Russell Wilson. Damn, Damn he did that. Oh, wow. Oh, he took, well, he took pickings. He took the guy I wanted. Damn it. I think this is a little. Uh, I don't know. One of these guys has got to go quarterback, man. They have to look at the board and just realize that they're probably not going to get a quarterback that comes back to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully they don't, Ho or hopefully they like Lance. I don't have much Russell Wilson, to be honest with you. I don't either. I have zero Russell Wilson. Yeah, I don't have much Russell Wilson, but again. It, that offense that he, or that division that he's going to play in. Like, look, he took Lance, like I said. So yeah. this guy on the clock now. He's going to take Russ. I mean, if he wants a quarterback, he might want a wide receiver. He only has three. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So. Let's, let's, uh, let's start looking at other things. What's your thoughts on Pacheco now? You still off or you still thinking uh, he may have a shot? He'll come back. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I do not know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We also got Michael Carter here. You know, they're just kind of We moving. got Rondell Moore. And your boy MVS. Yeah, I'm not really high on MVS um, at the moment. Yeah. Not this early yet. Honestly, I like Rashad White here, too. I know you don't like taking handcuffs, though. So. Can we take Russ? All right, Melvin Gordon. <laughs> just we can take, take Russ. Russ. We can take I Russ. I mean, just I, have, I don't have much Russ. Yeah. If I'm going to get him, pair, I want to link him up with somebody. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say Russ and then backdoor with Michael Carter. And I don't, you know, I hey have. Hey, man, you're not in this draft, man. I'm just saying. You I'm sit saying, over there, okay? Saying, and we try to put your, saying, saying. Put your ideas <laughs> over here, man, all right? Just, I'm just floating the idea out there. And, you know, uh, Greg Dosage on IR. Yeah. No, no, no. No, Alberto. <laughs> I'm not going to allow him. No, no. But I'm just no, saying. Because like, here's the thing. Greg, he did, Greg he Dosage. Did set out, he set out the last preseason game. Well, did you hit the draft button? Did he? Yeah, he said, I'm pretty sure he set the last preseason Oh, oh. Crap. Boy, <laughs> bro, come on. We tripping. Oh, um, man. What if we would have got out of Yeah, we tripping. <laughs> we would have got out um, the, the last game I saw, maybe I missed this last Broncos game, but the last Broncos game I watched where he did play, he was sharing the field with, like, two other tight ends. Like, yeah. at the same time, they were hmm. concurrently playing. Yeah, but playing. They, they let go of tight end. And, uh, who did they let go just, of? You're talking about in, during this, the recent yeah, cuts? Yeah, the cuts, yeah. Do you know who they let go of? I can't recall his name. I can't recall that. Okay. I need to pick it. I mean. Uh, I'm not saying we got to, like, reach for nah, him. No, I mean, we're not saying, doing like, though. If, you, if we're looking to go for the Denver stack. I see what you're saying. You know. The only I reason, see what you're saying. Because that would literally be my first share. If we take him. 
Yeah, we take he him can't late. Be, he can't be our first tight end. No, nah, and, and he Joku, can't be our only tight end. Joku needs to be our first tight end. Okay. <laughs> I mean, and then again, we get whoever. Like, I just if I'm to gonna be... take him, this is the type of bill where I would take him, right? Exactly. You know, yeah, so exactly. I, I don't mind that. Um, I was kind of looking at Lockett. I, I think people are sleeping on Lockett a little bit. Yeah. Um, kind of agree with that. Uh, and I have zero shares, but I probably Rondell Moore, that. Traylon Burks. I'm good with both of those guys. Are you you willing to take a stab at Burks? Because I think his value is at the very bare minimum bottom at the moment. Tenth round, Burks. but if he ends up becoming a guy, tenth round Burks. That's crazy that value, right? We have four. We have four wide receivers. Where, where's his uh, fantasy mojo? Traylon Burks. <laughs> uh, nine, nine, ten, nine, ten. So this will be a value if we get him in the ten. Yeah. I mean, I'm just putting it out there, man. Value. I'm just putting it out there. Um, yeah. I, 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 I would be fine going that route. Uh, I don't have no problem with Rondell Moore again. Pacheco. My pick right here would be actually Rashad White because I just do not see Leonard Fournette playing 17 games. To another running back? We have four. Because yeah. he like that's the type of running back that, like, end of the season, like, could just, like, scorch the earth. But I'm fine. I'm fine passing, too. Uh, like, I can't walk off the board. Right no more. I feel like we don't need. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, again, Burks. I'm looking so at Burks. So like Burks, yeah. Like if we're looking for that like late season thumper, given yeah. this roster build. I like that term thumper. That's that's what he is. He could be a <laughs> hammer. He could be a hammer for real, for real. If he gets uh, it together, I mean, they drafted him so high. Um, I have no problem with Rashad White actually. But do we want another running back now? I guess yeah, I can never have too many running backs. Uh, once I once well, I have once I have four solid wide receivers and sometimes even three. If I have four solid wide receivers, I, like those are my guys. Yeah, those are my guys. And then basically, I'm waiting for like some of these running backs to just like catch fire or like. All right, on the board. See, if we would have skipped on Wilson, he would have took Wilson. Yeah. Um, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't mind the Burks play here either. Uh, see, the thing about it is, I'm not sold on Burks. No, I'm, not. I'm not high on Burke, but at the same time, I'm not high on Rashad White. But I think he is the number one, I mean, number two running back for the Bucks. Yeah. Fournette might not be able to hold up. I mean, that would be, if he does end up getting I like that. <clears throat> that opportunity, he's going to be nice. Yeah. I don't have any shares. I mean, why not? But, but if Burks goes off this season, just know. <laughs> just know. <laughs> just, <laughs> just know. I'll, I'll say roll the clip. Yeah. Uh, who you want? I'll let you, I'll let you pick this one. What's Rashad White's uh, fantasy mojo? <laughs> ADP. <laughs> now you're addicted to fantasy mojo. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> Can't even find it. Eight. Eight? No. Uh, Seven seconds. Well, just pick, pick, pick. Dude, just pick. Test round. Okay. Rashad White. I went white. All right. That would have been actually been early for his uh, – actually, we took him a little earlier in his ADP. It's all right. Yeah, his ADP is – his ADP is 10-6. And Burks was eight something, or nine something. Nine uh, nine oh eight is what you say, or nine ten. Drake's ADP is nine ten. Yeah, so they're less than a round between yeah. each other. Yeah. I don't know probably with it. I don't have much Rashad White, but again, he is the number two running back for that team. And Burks just went fire move, just went. I'm good on that. <clears throat> we have a good amount of running backs. Um, yeah. Damn, I do kind of wish we took Burks. Uh. <laughs> That's why I made him click the button. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I got my Burks. Um, I like Dotson, and I, I, mm-hmm. I spoke on this last episode. These rookie receivers that we really yeah. don't know what they are yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we can end up looking back on week three and be like, man, this guy yeah. is going off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know he's killing it. We could have drafted him. Wow, he took Raheem. Oh, it's most early. So that's so, see, that's what we talk about. Like your draft plan just like <laughs> gets that's destroyed, what I'm yeah, gets blown up. <laughs> then your contingency, like, what do you do? Yeah, uh, but it's all good. Um, so I'm at. So at this stage, I do like to just kind of go in and just add, like, my guys. I'm looking team. at these wide receivers, man. Yeah, I, like there's still a fair amount of them. I'm okay exactly. with. I'm okay with Dobbs. I'm okay with Dotson. Yeah, but doing um, that, like, by adding these Julio. players in here. Adding these players in for me, adding these players in my queue, I'm like, okay, I feel comfortable with this guy. So I don't necessarily need to feel pressed to like maybe get another wide receiver, but if there's like six or seven that I feel comfortable with that are in the We might have to reach on one deal. Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine and with when that. I say that, I'm talking about and I'm not usually the type of person like, you know twelfth round? Yeah. Yeah. I'm Even not eleven used, it's eleven ten. No, twelve. Twelve. <laughs> twelve. Twelve. Because I mean how far down he I, is. Yeah. 
Yeah. Somebody has to really scroll yeah. down far to consider taking him. And I think we need to – We actually, you know, we're going to have to get a tight end uh, on the comeback here. Who's at the top of the queue? Oh, Albert O? We don't Damn, need Albert O. Who's at the top? I think we can wait on Wandell. From no, the 12? Can. Yeah, no, we can't wait. We, we have wait. to take him in the 12. Um, you want to secure uh, Njoku? Yes. As our top tight end? Absolutely. So this this round we're going to take Njoku yeah. and Alberto just went Wandell. Yeah. Right? Alberto just won. Good. So we're going to take Njoku and Wandell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're taking Njoku. Wandell. Hey, y'all know the tight end I like, though. He's still there. Who? Ingram? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ingram is still there, and I'm going to strong arm you to take him again this time. If he makes it back, I I would definitely take him there. What are are your thoughts on Isaiah Likely? I know we put up the uh, Twitter poll about – So, I didn't get much clarity from that poll. (laughs) It's kind of frustrating. I I mean, one one, one, but – no, but I wanted to – I thought I was really going to get a landslide one way or the other, yeah. you know, and it was really like 53% to 47% type yeah, thing, you I know. Think you should check. And it was a good amount of people that voted. So, it was yeah. like – so, it's almost like people are on polar opposites of it, yeah. you know, and people – I don't want to say they have their extreme views, even though people were commenting with extreme views. Yeah. So, and it, you know, obviously you can see both sides of it. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, – I like likely on teams where we wait for tight ends. For the very fact that, like – if something happens okay, to so Andrews, here, yes. How many like tied in like? That's true. Cut, you know, that's like, true. But yeah, we are not the type of people that handcuff our tight ends, right? No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> so no, let's not. let's not start to make that a habit. Um, I, I, my only, but we're not handcuffing Andrews. Like likely we'll have potential right, right, value, right, right, right. You know? My my only thing that holds me back from considering likely is again when we. Like, we can't forget this. And we, we tend to forget. And I, I like to repeat it because I tend to forget it. But oh. remember, the tight end that we are, t- are looking for is that tight end that can possibly end up being the main or second guy target-wise yeah. on their team, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's somebody that I can see in, in Joku. Like, yeah. yeah, Amari's there, but can we really trust Amari? And who else is there? Yeah. You know, we know Brissett is targeted as tight ends. Evan Ingram, we know – Peterson and Pass has targeted tight ends, and we really don't know what that situation is going to be yet. So, yeah. those type of guys I like. But uh, what are we doing right now? I look at number two. Number two just went Alberto and Isaiah Pacheco. He took your guys. Ah, I know who number two is. He took your guys. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, now I know why I like his draft. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why I like his draft. So we're gonna take Njoku here, right? Njoku and Wandell, or are you wavering on Wandell? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Njoku and Wandell. Like, literally, Wandale is by far my, like, high. At one point, I think I had, like, 70%. And as many teams I have to have 70% of one player is ridiculous. <laughs> I had to, like, force myself to, like, I'm stop I'm looking at Dotson, though. Damn. And that's the thing. It's like, I'm not, we're not pressed. With this type of build, I'm, we're not pressed to, like, have to take Wandale. We don't have to take him. We don't have to handcuff Kadarius Tony. I know Wandale has his own value, but you think we don't have to. You want to, and we're going to be real mad if we lose out on this guy. You want to see one that can fall to us in the 13th? I'll be fine with that. I doubt Just that, that to happens. See? Let's see how far down he is. His ADP is 13. ADP of uh This is a great tool, by the way. 13 Fantasy five. Mojo's uh website. <laughs> what is this thing called? Look at that. ADP draft. Oh. They specify with main events. Look, <laughs> look get a subscription or, or whatever. Uh, Jahan, Go on the website. Dawson that thing is like win. useful. Dawson went? <laughs> that thing Dawson is like useful. Yeah. Oh, wow. Alexander Madison fell that Madison. far? All right. Well, there goes Damn. that dream I had. You know who else I, I, I don't mind Damn, like, picking I was, up? I was imagining falling. myself putting Dawson in my lineup and him mm-hmm. scoring all these points for me and me just being crunk. If Brian Robinson falls to the 13th, I think we should. Uh, Brian Robinson's still on the board? He's still on the board. Tyler Boyd. So we're gonna go in Joker, right? Go ahead and knock that out, man. Before I second guess myself. Well, he's like the number third tight end on the board. Do you want Hunter Henry? No. Do you want Mike Gasecki? Hell no. Okay, then we need to get our boy in. Keep Let's going. Go. I want Evan Ingram. <laughs> we can get Ingram later. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna get Wandell now. Are you sure you want to get Wandell? Well, who else we're we gonna get? Don't you like Garrett Wilson? 
I do, but that's just because of the simple fact he's a rookie and he was yeah. one of the top okay. wide receivers drafted. I'm not a but I actually like that. Wandell more yeah. than Garrett Wilson, but I yeah. know I'd have to get Garrett Wilson before I get Wandell, yeah. which I guess is why I don't have much Garrett Wilson. I kind of like – I really don't understand why his ADP is so high. Actually, I mean, I kind of really don't mind Brian Robinson. The fact that, like, they didn't put him on IR – and then they cut uh, – who was the uh, running back from last year? You want to risk it? They cut Patterson. The, the question I got with Brian Robinson is when he does come back, is he going to be as effective? You think they'll give him back his job? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think if he's, if he's already – if he is already out of the hospital and they're talking about he may come back this quickly, and it sounds like it, mit, like it missed all, like, major ligaments, bone. Like, it's just a soft tissue wound. Uh, so it's something that should, like, heal. Like, I don't think he's going to, like – Okay, like, let's it's not like a li- but we don't have to. The only, the, my only question with Ron, with uh, Robinson is, okay, when he comes back, is it just an ugly three-headed committee with, like, minimal upside? It might be a committee. I think I don't think McKissick is going anywhere. Yeah, I don't and, think And, so and if McKissick's not going anywhere, he's going to get the passing work. I don't think and so And if, th- if that's the case, all we're getting out of Robinson is the goal line yeah. work and between the, the and hash. There's, and there's, there's other handcuffs later. Let's get Wondell right now, man. Let's get Wondell, yeah, because, you know, this is, again, like, adding people to the queue, like, add our boy Eno to the queue. And add Mark Ingram to the crew. Nobody likes rapping Mark Ingram, but he's still a, a handcuff in a what I consider a very. I'm gonna be real offense. hot if this team in front of us takes one deal. And I, I feel it happening. But we had no choice. We had no choice. But don't this. Njoku go in like the 13th, 14th round though? No, no, hmm? no. Njoku's ADP has been rising. And that's the thing about ADP, is that sometimes you don't you, you catch it on the rise or you catch it on the fall. So even mm-hmm. though his ADP right now is I don't <clears throat> his ADP is twelve, actually twelve six. Like his ADP was much lower beforehand, mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. means like mm-hmm. you know people are willing to take him out early. Yeah, I like that a lot of fourteenth round in Joku. Yeah, I mean I don't really at this point I don't really care. It's really at this point it's almost get your guys. And when we were up, it was only two tight ends. Oh, you know, so I don't I don't take you know we don't take uh, I almost never take two QBs, but when I don't feel strongly about a QB, like I feel about like a Murray or Hertz or what, you, what are you guys, about to say, man? Dak Prescott is on the board, man. Yeah. He's been falling, too. Bruh, like, QB is such falling. an important position. Like, if for some reason, like, either Wilson, you know, has Russell's a tough method. Russell's on the decline, too. Nah, you mean? man. Nah. Nah. If right, we were going to take time. Dak, Dak had to be our main quarterback. I don't yeah. want Dak sitting on my bench and wasting the roster spot. Yeah. I just, I mean, Russell. And we can take other quarterbacks later. Yeah, Russell. We could take know. Cousins later. That's fine. That's, fine. You're true. That's, that's, true. that's true. That's true. That's true. All right. So, uh, Wondell. Say Wondell, yeah. All right, Wondell. Man. If Wondell goes off this year. <laughs> man. He's the last wide receiver I look at the list and I'm kind of excited about. Mm-hmm. I, I do like DJ Shark a little bit, but it's not like an extreme excitement. Yeah. I think Wondell is the type of profile where he can blow up. And he, I think they're even going to get him carries. Um, and that wide receiver room is so ambiguous. I even mm-hmm. think I saw a blur where they said Wandell was the best wide receiver all camp on the Giants. Yeah, because like, he's the only one that's been healthy and playing. That's true. And I mean, and Galladay health is. T- I told you Galladay was man. Health is a skill, you know what I'm saying? So Galladay's been trash. At this point, I'm kind of open to just taking guys that we just think are value picks. Yeah. Um, yeah at this point, it's just like building. Our, so at this point, like you got to throw ADP out of the window. Because right. so much news has occurred, and guys are just going to be going all over the place. So you never want to be in a position where, like, oh, man, you're looking at the fantasy emoji, like, I thought his ADP was in the 14th round, and then somebody, you know, reached two rounds early. That's because news Actually, I just shut changed. my right here. Yeah, like he went in the 11th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the slow draft I'm in. Because people are starting to talk up in Joku a little bit more, especially since Watson's suspension came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They know Brissett's going to have to throw it to somebody. And you know what it took? It, the silly thing is that – I mean, it's not silly, because I, I get it. Like, all these are data points, but – it all started after he played his first preseason game. And he really didn't have, like, an amazing stat line. But a more important point was, like, the amount of percentage of snaps he played. Talking about Njoku? Yeah. Yeah. But at some point in the offseason, you got to, like, think. You got to, like, ask yourself, okay, they paid him all this money. Hooper's That's the gone. thing for me. They paid yeah. him top five tight end yeah. money. Hooper's gone. Yeah. They don't have a lot of weapons. Like, at that point when he's going in the 13th, 14th, 15th round – you have to at least tell yourself there's a possibility that he may be in every down tight end, you know? And that's what I kept telling myself. And I was like, let me not miss out on this cheap ADP right now. I, lo- I like what Six did, though. That was a smart move. Keep I'm kind of – oh, yeah, you already have Eno mm-hmm. in the queue. I like Eno. Yeah. 
Um, I like Jeff Wilson. I like De Ernest. I still kind of like Mike Davis. Mike we, Davis, we, we, yeah. We, I'm surprised you don't have him on the queue. Well, because I, I figured the Drake news will push his ADP down. Still put him on the queue? I don't worry. I got it. Yeah. I got you, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I, Drake to me is just not a good running back. Like, he, he has some athleticism, but he's I'm still I'm going to put Jalen Warren on the queue. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. Mm, okay. So you really want to take like, you, why do you want to take another quarterback? Like you're not you're not confident. We don't in have Russell. to. We don't have to. We don't have to. Because I'll be honest with you, and I think you said it before. Actually, we could pick up. A, yeah, <laughs> we could pick up a guy anytime. Yeah, we could pick I think up I said this before, but me, unless I'm taking a quarterback super duper late, and yeah. the the you know the demarcation line is probably a ride. Yeah. Uh, any other quarterback above that, maybe the demarcation line is Lance. Yeah. But any oh, other, I've never, I, I won't roll naked with Lance. Yeah, any other quarterback, and, and actually I have Russ above Lance, but any other yeah. quarterback after that, I'll probably try to get a second quarterback. Yeah. But any other quarterback I take above that, I'm going to just roll with that quarterback because yeah. I've, I've put in such, you know, currency in their draft status. Yeah. That's like, you know, if I'm going to draft them here, I might as well just kind of roll my team with this guy. So I'm adding uh, Jarek McKinnon to the, to the list. And then I'll add your boy. Uh, there go Julio. I like Julio. You really got me to pick Rashad White. It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I mean, he could be a guy, I but did, I did. just interesting. Eno just went. Oh, that hurts. Who took Eno? Number two. Ugh, I, I'm not surprised. Um, not surprised. Damn, I liked Eno. It's a good pick, though. I mean, 14th round, if I'm looking at – if we're looking at, like, a Carr, Stafford in the 14th round, especially with Thursday night, and we got Allen Robinson, I, d I do not want to pass on Carr in the 14th round. Only because we have Allen Robinson and it's Thursday night football. Like Carr? Stafford. Sorry, uh, Stafford, Matthew okay. Stafford. And I'm not even a Stafford guy. But I also don't want to pass on Carr, too, given all the weapons. What you feel on Amir Abdullah? I don't mind him. I, I just want him late. I, I'm starting I, to look at the other running backs that are available. Yeah. Damn, I really want to Eno. Um, yeah. I just prefer – I prefer, like, a mirror on a team where I feel like I need him. Like, he, like I would need him to start. Okay, we have five running backs right now. Do we need any – how many more running backs do you think we need? I, I could literally draft the rest of the team full of running backs. Okay. But, <laughs> but how many – what's the bare minimum of what I'm asking? Like, if we didn't oh, take any other running backs. I'd be fine with it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, you're, you're okay with whatever we do now. Yeah. Um, like, I know, I know you're, we're wanting to look at your boy here. So, I'm – like, I prefer – Okay, Ingram. Who's my boy? I prefer Ingram, like getting Ingram here in the 13th. If we can get Ingram in the oh, 13th, okay. 13, 10, it's like, it's lovely. Yeah, let's get Ingram. And then um, I'm looking at Jeff Wilson. And I'm fine I'm fine with uh, Tyler Higby, too. But if Ingram and Tyler Higby uh, are gone, I'd be good. I'd, I'm okay taking Jeff Wilson there. I'm talking about Jeff Wilson in the 14th. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. And maybe we can sneak Mike Davis to the fifteenth round. Yeah, hopefully we tried that last it. time. Yeah, tried that last time. See, see all these uh, now they're starting to take double quarterbacks. Again, I have no problem rolling Nicky yeah. Russ. Yeah, well, honestly, if I, I have if, no problem. I, rolling yeah, I don't Nicky understand Russ. the Patrick Mahomes and then A Rod and then the Lamar Jackson Derek Carr. Yeah, like when are you gonna sit Patrick Mahomes? I mean, I don't like to play for injury, yeah. so everybody can say what if A Rod? I mean, Patrick Mahomes gets hurt. Yeah, you can say that about literally every single player on your team. What if they but get the hurt? The good thing, the good thing about that though is like those other teams, like that takes up a roster spot because it's gonna yeah. be hard for you to feel like you can. Drop I mean, they just push the board down. Is yeah. how I see it. Mm -hmm. So that's good for again, us. Again, once we decide on Russ, I'm like, this is a Russ yeah. team. Like, oh, and look, uh, we oh, on man. some Broncos. Let's ride type stuff. Yeah. So team two and team mm -hmm. nine really pushed uh, quarterback here. So team nine, you know, maybe pressed. I think really team eight should be pressed to uh, get a quarterback. I mean, you know, you don't have to, but like. Why should team eight? They got Lance. Oh, because you, team nine has no quarterback. I, mean, do you, I, I really, as much as I feel like, oh yeah, Lance has all the upside in the world. Like I'm not willing to risk. Yeah, but that's a preference. Two K, you it. know. I, I, I personally, I'm okay with. I mean, yeah, I would consider taking a second running back, but yeah. if I mean a second quarterback, but yeah. if I'm only have Lance, yeah, all that's saying to me, or all I'm saying is, I'm gonna have this team roll with Lance. You yeah. know, this is a Lance team. This is a Lance team, yeah. Haircut. So there's like basically no quarter. Yeah. yeah. And again, like 99% of my teams don't have a second quarterback, but 
I was going to try to tuck you out more, of that anyways. More, more fodder. Can we know, go Ingram? Talk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go, I'll let you click the button. And then Jeff Wilson? Or who do you like? I think we need to consider running back. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with Jeff Wilson here. I actually love Jeff Wilson. Uh, and I actually, you know, I know you don't like going a lot of tight ends. I'd be fine Tyler Higgins because, again, that Thursday night. This mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's okay because that will be three tight ends. That's fine. We're late. Yeah. Well, because it's, it's three late tight ends as yeah. opposed to two late tight ends. Supposed to like an early tight end and a later tight end. I like Wilson now over mm-hmm. Higby though. I'm fine with that. Cause Jeff Wilson, I mean, I still am practice. not extremely 100 percent confident Eli Mitchell is number one going to be there for week one. Yeah. And number two going to hold up the season. Oh, he's definitely not holding up the season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, like over the course of a season, like you know, is Jeff Wilson going to hold that number two job over the course of a season? Do you think it's going to be Tyron Davis? I, mean, shit, I think it actually may be Mason. That's I what I'm talking you. about. And we can get Mason <laughs> yeah. either extremely late in this draft yeah. or on the waiver wire. Yeah. So we don't got to be worried about that right now. That's true. I, I don't think between That's now true. and week and the, the beginning of the season, we're going to really get some clarity on how that yeah, rotation is going to go. We're not, not going to get anything. So we can take Mason yeah. any single time. And yeah. Tyrion Davis just went price. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if this guy doubled up and took Jeff Wilson here, actually, and get the two back up. Nine and running backs because he has Eli Mitchell. That's gross. You would like, three. I wouldn't be surprised. All I'm saying. <laughs> if it was like, if it was like, the, he took likely. If it was the uh, 49ers backfield or the 49ers offensive line of the, like the last few years, maybe. Mm-hmm. But this new offensive line, like you better hope Trent Williams can just carry them because like you got like three or four new starters on that offensive line. Like they, they it's not a lot that they like are just gonna be able to run the ball like they have in the past. So, but I don't know if I want to. Re- I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to reserve three roster Look spots. Look at the wide receiver list. Is there any wide receiver that you want to consider making sure we do attain their services? Uh, no. No. Because I kind of looking at the same way. I don't really see any quarterback – I mean, receiver I'm looking at oh, like. Oh, K.J. Hamler. Oh, you like Hamler? Oh, yeah. In this type of Actually, build, I nice. really like what I saw from him as far as like the little bit that I saw from him in the preseason. He looks very healthy. He got hit, went to the ground real quick, popped okay. up like, you know, just like – it looked like he was like 100% healthy. And I, he just like had this kind of quick twitch nature to himself to where like. Yeah, I hear nice you, but please insurance. don't talk yourself into him taking them now. No, no, no. no, no <laughs> Let's take Jeff Wilson. You know, you know I can do that, right? I know. That's why I, I didn't want you to go too <laughs> far. Like, just stop. Let's, yeah, just stop. let's take Jeff Wilson first, and I'll let you continue you know with your monologue. <laughs> hey, I'm about to take Jeff yeah, Wilson yeah. before you change your mind. All right, now, what were you saying? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm good with um, yeah. I'm good with KJ Hamler actually, especially yeah. with this bill. Yeah, I'm actually real good with that. I'm good with your Higby pick at this point. I mean, Higby's not making it back to us. You know that. Well, you never know. <laughs> um, I like Amir Abdullah. I do like because, like we were saying with with Brian Robinson. Yeah. The reason why we were we were a little bit hesitant with him is because he's not going to get that passing down work. Yeah. Um, you know, he's going to have a restricted role. Well, you can look at Amir Abdullah the opposite way. He is actually going to have that passing down work. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a number two. Yeah. If Josh Jacobs, I mean, Josh Jacobs hasn't been healthy all his career. If Josh Jacobs does go down, yeah, it might be the Zamir White show. Yeah. But Zamir White is still a rookie. Yeah. We don't know what he was a fourth round yeah, pick, I believe. Yeah, we may see more Amir Abdullah. Exactly. Yeah, with, with Zamir White. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing, too, is like with the, you know, historically with that Josh McDaniels offense, we've seen, and I don't and I don't want to you know, say it's a one-for-one one with James White, but we've seen him at least uh, be very comfortable using a third mm-hmm. down, scat back yep. at the goal line in the red zone. Like, that's been something like he's definitely, you know, I think, and there are coaches who, who, who like that. Yeah. There are coaches who prefer that. Like, we yeah. talked about, the, uh, uh, you know, Andy Reid, not necessarily wanting to scat back down, but, but like being creative around the goal line. Yeah. Not all these coaches just want to like a, a big – you know, bruising back who can run it in between the tackles at the goal line. Some of them like getting creative. He might want to open that offense up. Yeah. So. Even Green Bay, like, you, you see you see that a lot with Aaron Jones. One reason why I like Aaron Jones, is be, you know, is because I feel like they get so creative with him around the goal line, or at least defenses have to think about, you know, is he going to run it or is he going to, like, you know, uh, you know, run a right out of the backfield. And that, that helps out the offense because now you can't just, like, you know, freelance and just, like – or not freelance, but uh, – uh, just like dedicate, you know, everything to stopping the run. You have to at least consider that option in the passing game. Okay. Got a little interesting build here. Yeah. A uh, few guys I've never had before, which I don't mind. Um, 
Now you really have want to have me wanting KJ Hamlin to fall to us. I think that would be a nice <laughs> little. I think it'll be a nice little addition to the team. Uh, Higby just went. If I was to say a wide receiver that I would consider, um, it would probably be Alec Pierce. Okay. It's because it just I keep repeating myself that rookie upside. Yeah. KJ Hamlin just went. Yeah. That Damn. Sucks. Um, I just don't like. I don't like. I just don't. I mean, I don't. I, would, I wasn't a huge fan of Alec Pierce's up. Coming out, Felt me like neither. Kinda... But there's been a lot of guys I wasn't huge fans of yeah. coming out that proved me wrong, you know. And again, just looking at the board here, yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe Christian Watson. Maybe if you want to just take a stab as far as the the first wide receiver the Packers drafted. Oh, where did Romeo Dubs go? He already left. I right? don't know. Where did Where did he go in the draft? I think like around 10. ten or eleven. Ten, twelve. Okay. Yeah. That's not That's not bad for Romeo Dubs. Yeah, I saw him, but we there was somebody else we were targeting yeah. at the time. Um, but, yeah, just looking at the other wide receivers, none of them I feel like has that immense upside. I mean, I like Kendrick Bourne, but he's just yeah, in Mark the doghouse just, like crazy. Just went. Who? Mark Ingram. So, none of these other wide receivers at all give me any type of good feeling about. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I feel like we should get another wide receiver. Sorry, Michelle. He went a little bit earlier than I thought he was gonna mm-hmm. go, but that, but I, that was someone that I was uh, uh, definitely considering, like in the later rounds. Uh, I don't know if he's officially signed, but uh, that is, you know, that thumper that they were probably looking for is uh, looking toward two. Uh, what about Sammy Watkins? He can end up being the main guy of the Packers. Uh, I would want him a little bit later. Yeah, but okay. do you think you got to take him in the fifteenth? Nah, I don't think so. I'm just looking at the wide receivers, and these all, yeah, they're all like, eh. And I think Lazard is hurt right now, correct? Yeah, oh, like injury, injury. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mike Davis. Oh, they got us. Who's that? Just Brooklyn. Same team that took Hamler too. Oh man, hell, we bugged. It's him. all right. <laughs> it's all right because the thing with Mike Davis, every time I miss on him. And I feel like I miss on every single draft. Yeah. I keep reminding myself, I'm only expecting to really have that job for like the first four weeks. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what and it is. After that, it's like, yeah. like I'm not going to use yeah. him in the tournament. So. And, and this team, I don't necessarily know that we need him. Like, I, I feel. Oh yeah, like, we definitely don't need him. Because I feel like going into this, like I'd want to start like pretty much like our top eight picks over him. But there's I'm some teams just, where like I'm taking like these chances, and I'm like, okay, or you go zero RB or hero RB, and you're like, okay. If he is, if if J.K. is like sitting out that first week, or looks to be like really limited, like Mike Davis, you know, against the Jets, against that Jets defense, and you're looking like a Tyson option. Oh, uh, who are you looking at right now, McKinnon? Uh, McKinnon, uh, Dontrell Hilliard. Who else we got on here? Uh, we could also start looking at like I know we like. I think we need a wide receiver. Yeah, I know we typically wait on like uh, kickers, definitely defense. Uh, oh, Boston Scott. Definitely, you know. I always forget about him, but that's always a good pick. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't mind. I think we should go Alec Pierce. I don't mind that pick. He's a second round pick, rookie. He, he his body type is is great. Yeah. You know, we don't know much about his talent. I mean, to be honest with you, have y'all heard much at all coming out of Colts camp? Nothing. Like, it's kind of like Nothing. it's been eerily quiet. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you hear a little thing, you know, Matt Ryan is yelling at teammates or whatever, but you haven't really heard anything as far as what they're doing. Yeah. And, again, Alec Just Pierce. He's been, like a, he's been, like, prominent in the uh, red zone. I mean, that's a guy. So, that, you like Alec Pierce over Campbell? Guy. Over Paris Campbell? I heard Paris Campbell has been doing pretty well in camp, too. And he plays out the slot. Number one, Paris Campbell has gotten hurt two seasons in a row, so there's an injury concern there. And number two, I would not be surprised whatsoever if Alec Pierce overtakes Paris. Well, I don't know if they overtake. I just feel like they play two different positions. Maybe. But, it, I mean, I don't want to say we can actually take both technically. Yeah. But um, I just think Pierce has the, the red zone type upside. Yeah. While Paris is going to be more of a, what did you call it last time? Not yeah. gadget guy, but yeah. – Situation guy or something. Your boy Fant's still up on the board too. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, who, whose ADP is higher? Pierce's ADP is just technically higher than Jared McKinnon. Uh, Robert Tonyan is out there too. Uh, that's you know kind of pick here. Is Logan out there? Logan Thomas. The fact that you keep mm-hmm. naming Titans lips, you know we can wait longer because <laughs> you keep naming. Okay, at some point I would want Logan Thomas here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and we can drop him if he looks like he's not going to be healthy in time. But like again, that's an offense that typically you know targets the tight end. It's, can we take Pierce? Yeah, let's take Pierce. Go ahead. I just took Pierce. Oh, uh, since he signed O.J. Howard, but I'm going to keep saying it. O.J. Howard, to me, is signing is insignificant. He's not good. Like, um, <laughs> so you're going to want McKinnon now? Uh, McKinnon you know what's crazy? I was Logan thinking about Thomas. McKinnon like a few days ago. He might be extremely undervalued That's if he truly has that role of a third down back. That was my bet is that, like, McKinnon outscores Isaiah Pacheco, at least points per game. And then if C, if CH goes down, and you've mentioned it before, and I've just kind of ignored it, but just thinking about it, that playoff run he did have was pretty significant. Yeah. And, and honestly, it might be a situation where we only actually need use McKinnon maybe three weeks, that's and it. that's fine. That's fine. You know, just getting that three-week run, yeah. I'm good with McKinnon. Okay. I right, um, do that. And now that I say that, he's probably going to go off the board. Uh and then after that, you can start targeting whatever tight ends you yeah. want. Some of these defenses that go off the board so early, I, just, I don't get it. Like the Colts defense. Why is Hillier's the, ADP so low still? What oh. about Jalen Warren? Are we going to try to target him? Yeah, yeah, we can With Najee yeah, on board? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many more rounds we have? So we have three rounds to take, guys. So we have three yeah. players we could take. Yeah. So start calculating that. Because two of these slots have to go with a defense and a kicker. And we're about to take McKinnon, right? So we really have two more slots. You sure you don't want Logan Thomas? Over McKinnon? Yeah. You're that high on Logan Thomas? He didn't get put on puck. Yeah, but he miss, he still might be working his way back. I mean, that's that's cool. No, I'm good. I, no, that's cool. Down. You are on the clock. Let's go McKinnon. Mm-hmm. McKinnon. Okay, I'm letting you pick it. Executive decision. Yeah. There you go. Let him pick it. I bet, man. No. Okay, so now we have two more slots. One of them, we want it to be Jalen Warren? Yeah, I'm Do fine. we care yeah. about handcuffing Najee? Oh, I, didn't even, I, I completely forgot that we had Najee. That's the only reason I'm bringing him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally saw, the, the purpose like of me saying it. I don't even care about the first two rounds. <laughs> I will just forget who yeah, I was. Yeah, just forget like. about it. Yeah, I will forget about it. Uh, uh, Hilliard, I like. You know I like Hilliard, actually. I like Hilliard a lot. Yeah. Yeah, no, we can we can we can handcuff him with uh, Jalen Warren. I guarantee you, number two second Jalen Warren though. Like I'll put money on it. The number two hole. Yeah, because I just know them. <laughs> I just know them. <laughs> I know. I know. I know who that team is. Want to make a, a wager on it? All right, sideways. You already. You know already. You got the. All right, we can already. You got, say you got the penny bit. Unless penny. <laughs> unless penny's hurt between and now. The Pierce and we bet. Won. What Pierce bet? Remember Pierce versus Batty. There was no bet. That wasn't a bet? No. Yeah, there might have well been a bet. It was a whole damn episode. Right, right, right. But it was never. What what, what would the bet have been? It wasn't really a bet. There was no bet. It technically wasn't a bet. Oh, we were just discussing the two players. The other bet was um, who would have a better fantasy season, Dak or Baker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still feel good about that, by the way. But anyway, (laughs) can you do uh, $10? $10? Yeah. You saying Team 2 is going to take uh, Jalen Nah, I'm right? cheap. I don't want to do 10. <laughs> okay, five. Order me a meal. Order me a meal on DoorDash. <laughs> a meal on DoorDash. Then I got to pay for tip. I'm going to pay for the tip. I'm not trying to give you this. Oh, uh, man. Okay. That's fine. Oh, man. That's yeah, I do. Li- I love Hillier, man. I love Hillier. I would even consider Hillier to over Warren. Because the thing with Warren, if, if Najee does go down, I still don't think we would need to put Warren in our lineup with the other yeah. running backs we have. Yeah. But if Najee has a significant injury, yeah. Warren could end up being a the league, league winner. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of a a double edged sword there. Yeah. Nah, I'm fine, I'm fine with getting Warren. So you want to double tap running back or yeah, you want to get your tight end? Uh, if Logan comes back to us, I'm going to want Logan. Yeah, I know you are. That's fine. Okay, so it's either. Logan and, and, and Warren or Hilliard and Warren, right? Yeah. I mean, Which unless one? Team 2 takes them, right? Uh, I'd probably say I'd, I'd lean Hilliard and Logan. 
But okay, Hillary one of those guys is gonna go off. I'm fine with Hillary and Logan. What do we think about defense? We have never talked about defense on the on the shows, and I've literally uh, wanted us wanted us to have a defense yeah. show. Uh, we can't have a whole yeah. show. Forty Nine ers. I mean, not, okay, at least a second. Yeah, Forty Nine ers one of my favorite defenses because they don't go super early and they start off playing. Uh, the Bears. And my it, number the, one. Their defense, first three defenses. Uh, the first three uh, games are actually, I think, soft matchups. My number one defense is the Saints. I like the Saints too. Mm-hmm. That's my number Mine one defense. Yeah. I like uh, Denver too. Uh, basically, any of those three who fall, and then Cleveland is like my sel- my fail safe. So with the Saints being my favorite defense, I typically tend to take them in the 18th round. Yeah. Because I'm. Hey, it's especially hard. where we are now. Yes. It's probably not going to yeah. reach us in the 19th. Logan Thomas just yeah. went. And kicker, I'm fine waiting on kicker because I, I, Lutz, I saw Lutz hit like kicker is a kicker is a kicker. Yeah, but I saw Lutz. Really, hit we're just gonna use our our uh, our uh, our secret weapon. Yeah, Linda. <laughs> but yeah, Linda. I saw I saw Lutz hit like I think two fifty yard field goals like with ease in the preseason. Kicked every single field hey. goal in the preseason, and they play Atlanta Falcons week one. Go is look at that. Offense? Go look at that Browns kicker. That rookie. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, like, I guess they may be kicking a lot. I mean, of Evan goals. McPherson was a rookie last year. Yeah, you saw how valuable he goals. became. But then they play, they play in Cleveland. You know, Cleveland always got those random games where it's yeah. like. But come on, man. But let's, 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 let's not really sit here and act like we're going to take a kicker now and that's going to be our kicker for the full season. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe, we're going to rotate oh, our just kicker. San Francisco, oh, team two. Remember? Oh. At yeah. least they didn't take our boy. But uh, when it comes to like. I would have won that bet. Damn it. But like for Lutz, he plays in a stadium. And he's a bye week 14. Who He's a Saints kicker? Yeah. So I love that. Like, I don't got to worry about kicking for 14 weeks, potentially. I know you can play the – you know, I know you like playing the uh, – I play matchups, matchups with my kickers, yeah. But the Saints defense, when you – that defense, like, you know, is a good defense and the offense is good enough to where they should be like – be able to move the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love – yeah, I just – I pretty much and – and you know Lutz is like free in every draft. So one of my favorite Delete kickers – that whole segment about Lutz. Cause, you know, I don't, I don't <laughs> so one of my play. favorite kickers, if there was a favorite kicker, would be actually um, the Vikings kicker. Yeah, I like him too. Joseph, Greg yeah. Joseph. He goes late too. He goes super late. Like you can get him at the very end, no problem. Yeah. But I like him because if we all, if that offense takes that big step forward like everybody's yeah. expecting, you would expect there to be in a lot more um, scoring opportunities. And he actually yeah. did pretty well last year. He's actually been um, the top half of the league. I don't know the exact ranking, but as far as kicker. Okay. So and we're not on uh, Hurst right now, right? No. Nah. No. Nah. Um. Sammy Watkins, your boy out there. So, too. what are we going to do? Are we going to take two running backs now or are we going to take a running back in, in defense? Uh, no, we can take a running back in defense. You want to go Saints? Yeah, I, I want to avoid the Rams, especially with them playing the Bills week one. I have no interest in Rams, Bucks. I, I, I zero. So, definitely the, little, definitely the definitely the Saints, right? And yeah. Do we want to take a defense We got to take them the 17th, all? yeah. We got to take them now. Because Team 11 needs a defense. And I don't want to risk it. I don't think they're gonna take uh, Hillier, because that's the only guy. That's the other guy we're taking, right? Hillier or Warren? I don't think they're up. gonna take either of them. I don't think Team don't Eleven think gonna take a defense. Oh, well, Hillier Damn it! There you go, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> Who you want? You want you want Warren or you want the, you want to go defense? No, we gotta go defense. Go Warren, man. Defense no. is coming back. No, it's not. Team Eleven because needs look, a defense. We can get Denver's defense too. Denver plays Seattle Week One. No. I want I want the Saints. Who, who else? Put ten dollars on it. On what? That they don't take a defense. The who don't? Look, this is Denver play Seattle. Wait, wait, wait. ten dollars that San they're Francisco not going to take the Saints. First three games. They're not going to take the Saints. You want to make that bet? Yeah. No, I don't want to make that bet. All right, so who we take? But you're trying to reach on Warren though. You is think? That a, you is think, that a reach? You think one of them are going to take Warren? Like that's just concern? No, no. Go ahead, go take. Like, go take let's be real. Saints. Like, look at where how yeah. far Warren is. Take the Saints. Take the Saints. Man, don't take the Saints. If you want Warren, get Warren. No. I, I really don't. It's not like I want Warren. Just take I'm the Saints. I'm taking the Saints. Oh, I'm going to let Warren come back to us in the uh, 18th round. Never reach on your handcuff. <laughs> yeah. Never reach on the cuff. I mean, he's going to come back around anyway. I'm, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee that. The question is, what do we want to do in the 19th round? Everybody's patiently waiting to see if they take Warren. All right, let's talk about the board. Uh more any more who's your favorite team thus far outside of ours you know it's crazy i never look at anybody else's team nor do i i literally have never but went there, back and actually looked at what everybody too, else you did. Can say, I, sometimes i like looking i'm like oh, okay that's an interesting build like i could see this or it's like 
what would they like? Why would they do this? You know, or it's like close enough. Where I'm like, okay, I like this. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. So, I actually do look at one other team, and it's the team that I'm drafting right next to because that ends up being the week one opponent. So our week one opponent is, is going to be team nine. nine. So I'll look at their team and see if that's a team that team is trash. No, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> team is trash. Well, their starting the quarterback is, trash, is Cousins and Winston's. Guys. I like Cousins. No, he got a, he's got he's got a solid squad. They they got Swift and y'all know I like Swift. Yeah, when we're looking at for week one, I mean he's got a solid squad. Most people don't have a solid squad week one. You, know, you got your starters coming yeah, out. Yeah, no, it's all, it's this team is this team's pretty good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna be something we got to be ready for. We're gonna have to stay ready for him. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Before we take Warren, is there anybody else I would want over Warren? They took Burkhead. <laughs> Oof, man, all these still You said you don't like Drake, right? I mean, I don't either, but he is going to be the number two. I don't mind taking Drake. Uh, actually, I do mind taking Drake. I don't like Drake. You are wrong. Okay. I don't like Drake. I would much rather get have peace of mind with uh, Jalen Warren, at least somewhat peace of mind. Sammy Watkins still out there. Yeah, and Sammy may fall to us too, so. Let's just go and get Warren now. Yeah. Like, why not? And then it gives us eight eight running backs. I wouldn't mind taking Conklin. So his, his or Mo Alley. Like just one of these tight ends that could prove to be because I just keep hearing everything. I keep hearing so much about Conklin being like uh like one of the camp favorites when it comes to targets, like a safety blanket for him. Yeah, everybody. me too. You know? Flacco's old, he don't want he doesn't want to get hit. Uh and Zach Wilson for all So are sounds you taking like are you talking about Conklin uh, now or Conklin in the nineteen? No, the nineteenth. Okay. 19th, yeah. So here's the thing about Drafts now for me, my approach, and we've talked about this before as well. Um, see, they took a defense. Uh, they would have took the Saints. I would have been pissed at you, Chris. Just to let you know. Uh, <laughs> hot. <laughs> We're hot. Yeah. Uh, Fuck this mic. <laughs> uh, so the thing with drafting for me is back when we first started oh, we drafting early. Yeah, Warren? yeah, Warren. Okay. Back when we first started drafting, I was I was tend to build a lot more teams with a lot more wide receiver heavy approach. Mm -hmm. and taking all these running backs, you know, taking stats of a bunch of different running backs, especially in ambiguous backfields, um, because we didn't really know how things are going to play out between then and the season. But now that we're getting closer to the season, I'm starting to tend to kind of build more running back heavier teams yeah. mm -hmm. because we know these guys are not going to get hurt from now until week one. I mean, they can get hurt in week one, yeah. but it's not going to be a training camp or preseason injury. So my, my builds are starting to kind of slowly, you know, adjust – to that type of setup, yeah. you know. So um, I, I like this build. Eight, eight running backs is cool. Um, Man, this this looked like a millie maker to me. This looked like this. this only thing seems, is, I wish we got Eno. Yeah, Eno would have been nice. I, I really wanted Eno. Eno would have been nice. But honestly, Eno is not really all that good, to be quite honest. He might not be, but I'm just I don't know if Connor's gonna hold up. He's not, but it may they. Darrell Williams didn't get cut. He and Darrell Williams is right. not playing special teams. Yeah, he didn't get cut. So, like, even if even if Connor gets hurt, it may be like a, a split situation. You know, it may be like, might. you know, where Eno's not well, getting Well, at least I, I guess I just want to take a stab, and Eno is the stab I want to take. Yeah. So, we missed out on yeah. that. Um, who else was I kind of targeting? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Everybody else, I pretty much think we got who we want. I like Hines, but Hines is just on the other side of the board now. He's like on the early part of the board, so I knew we weren't going to be able to get him. Um, yeah, Hines went at nine one. Chase is going so high went now to the JT owner. I don't mm -hmm. know if I would have done that if I was if I'm if I'm spending the one oh one on Jonathan Taylor. They won the hand probably him. not take it. I guess I guess you can look at it like that. If that yeah. offensive line is so good that they won the they handcuff like him. Yeah. They just won the handcuff him. I can look at it. I mean, there's some ways you can build your team. That. Some team, some people that. build their teams where their starting lineup is important. Yeah. And from there, they just want to make sure their starting lineup doesn't have any it's cracks. Safe. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and for him, he took Hines as his, like his starting lineup was full. Hines was his first backup. Yeah. So he's just trying to make sure he has insurance on JT. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I had no problem with it. I just like to kind of recommend people, especially in in – Large field, high stakes tournaments. Don't draft scare, because you're not you're not playing to be in the middle of the pack or even in the top half of the draft uh, or the of the standings. You're yeah. playing to be at the top, yeah. you know. And to be at the top, you have to you have yeah, to take yeah. swings. You have to you literally have to swing for home runs. Zero RB with Tony Pollard is your RB one. 
Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, it might work. It might work. I hope it, it does. Because <laughs> yeah. we did. I was going to say whoa, whoa, something whoa, whoa. about that. Because that's the team. Who did that? Y'all did that? He did. No, no, no. He did. Wait, wait, wait. You did what? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You had a zero running back team with Pollard as your number one running back? But I've seen two teams like that, I think. Yeah. I think a team here essentially is doing that. I don't think a team here is doing that. Well, well, like it's a hero RB. I mean, like they got C. No, that's different. And C Mac is great. Yeah, C Mac yeah, can lead. Yeah, that's, no, no, no. that's not. That's the not the same thing at all. That's not the same. But like what I'm saying is, like it's a no, hero it's, RB it's team. literally not close at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's, man, it's close, man. He took, no, no, he took no. Five straight receivers, and then like. So you no, took Pollard in the six. No, I took I took four receivers, uh, and uh, actually, yeah, I took five receivers and a tight end. So Pollard in the seven. Uh, wait, what's the seven? Yeah, yeah. This guy yeah. took Pollard Basic in the man. Yeah. Basic. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm yeah, okay yeah, with same. taking Pollard yeah, I took in the seven. I, I took Pollard in the seven. It's not an issue with taking Pollard in the seven. The issue is having a zero running back team and Pollard being your running back one. Yeah. Mm. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. week one, the top guy in that running back slot is going to be the guy that's going to yeah. – the first snap is going to be on the bench most and likely. And I have to come yeah. back and get Devin because Devin plays. Thursday Devin Singletary? Night. Okay, that's yeah. not Give bad. Give a little cushion. So who's your third, uh, if you recall? I would have to pull it up. Let me, let me pull it up right now. It's all right. Uh, you said you Conklin coming up, right? Yeah. You want to go yeah. Conklin? I like Conklin. I like um, Conklin. But yeah, let me pull this draft up real quick because uh, I did think this was kind of an interesting build. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call the build. Where you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have done this differently. <laughs> when, was it, when did we draft that? That was uh, on the 28th? You've been in the lab, I see. You've been in the lab. Too, we're trying to like, I was all, I so was this all is a, this is a, a like, combo team between which y'all? <laughs> no, no, no. Was, was, was it Maine? It was a Maine. It was a Maine. I know, I know. Bruh. I felt yeah. sick, and I had to, I had the. Uh, How you feel sick and you did it? So like, number <laughs> one, I had, to, I had to, I had the one hundred five, and, and I don't have any uh, chases like in, in, in main events. So I was like, I got the one hundred five. I'm about to get chased. Get chase, okay. Nope. Uh, Somebody. No, no one took chase. So actually, uh, the. 104 took Saquon and Cup fell. And I was like, yeah. I'm not going to pass on Cup. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> he took, yeah. Uh, Barkley went at 104. Took, wow. Yeah, so, this is a main? This is a main. So Cup came Did back. Did Fantasy Mojo blast this on his nah, Twitter? I don't think. Wow. Well, he was know. asleep on that. Um, Conklin, uh, right? Yeah, Conklin. So we're pretty much ending the draft. Like, we're not even paying attention anymore. We're let's, just. Let's, let's. Yeah, let me, let me go through my, let me go through the zero RB draft, though. Oh, this is what happened. I think let's ain't even in the top five. Trust me, you want. Trust me. That's right that, now. That's because I'm talking about injured. right now. Oh, what, what round are we in? We're in the 19th. Oh, in the 19th. Oh, who else? We can get him in the 20th. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get him in the 20th. Yeah. Uh, we can go. We can go Watkins or Conklin. Or oh, Watkins still out there? Yeah. If you want to go Watkins? No, let's go. Let's go Watkins. Let's go Watkins. Okay. Go I, I already drafted. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so this build. Uh, so, you know. Thinking I'm gonna get Chase, Cup falls. I'm like, you know what? I just, I just gotta go Cup. I'm not gonna pass on Cup at 105. Oh yeah, just yeah. I wanna, you yeah. know, I want a Chase here. Well, so, is it is it crazy to, cons- to think Chase could outscore? No, Cup this but year? I still think. Do you have Cup much Cup? Is, no, I don't. Okay, like, so you gotta be in that. It would have been an early. Uh, yeah. uh, I got you yeah. for either. I guy. think he's my first main share anyway. Okay. Uh, and then so second round comes and I'm like, you know, I'm thinking about Javante because I'm like, you know, this is gonna be I'll be able to get receivers from round three through six basically. And this guy, yeah. <laughs> don't draft Javante, but not. Nah, I'm not blaming it on him. <laughs> but I ended up, like, I really like Tyreek Hill. And I was just like, I love getting Tyreek Hill in the second round. I really feel like he's somebody who's been slept on. So passed up Javante, passed up Aaron Jones, and went Tyreek Hill. Uh, in retrospect, wow. I probably should have went. I probably should have went uh, running back there. Yeah. But I still, right. I, I, I don't know. I, I really feel like Hill could just explode this year. Like, absolutely explode. Mm-hmm. I, I hear you. Like, so, I'm just surprised the guy you passed on. Yeah. So, Cup, Hill, and then you know I'm big on Sutton, so I went Sutton. I passed, and I passed on, and DJ Moore went right before me, else I would have gone DJ Moore uh, in this particular bill. And then I don't like it, Schultz is somebody I almost never drafted, and for whatever reason you I was like, the sixth round. I took Schultz in the fourth round. In the fourth? In the fourth round. But the, yeah, yeah, the, the receivers yeah. that went after Chris, him, you let him do this? Yeah. Honestly, so, I, t- I tried to talk him out of that. Like, I was like, so, did you just take Schultz? But this is, this, the reason that I did that is because I knew like I was going to be able to get Bateman in, in the, fifth. the fifth round. So you wanted Bateman. You would, did yeah. we take Bateman in this draft? We did. We did. You love yourself some Bateman. Well, I'm trying to get, you know, get a, a few more shares. I got you. Because the running backs aren't healthy. So I, I have you. to adjust. I got uh, you. And I'm realizing I'm not as high on Terry McLaurin as I like, think I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, because Jahan Dotson is good. 
They like to throw to the tight ends, whoever it is. Wentz likes to throw to the tight ends. Wentz is really not that good. You know, it's not like it's a huge upgrade. And they still got J.D. McKissick there and Curtis Samuel is healthy. And I keep hearing about, like, Curtis Samuel actually having a significant role. That's my guy. You know that. Yeah. Real quick, before you continue, we're on the clock. <clears throat> I know Lutz. you said Lutz. Lutz. You don't want Prater? Lutz. Okay, you changed on that. You were Lutz. high on Prater before. That's, that, that's, that's before I saw Lutz just kick two 50-yard field goals literally straight down the middle like it was nothing. And he plays in the dome. And their defense is good. And okay. their offense is good. Well, close this out, champ. No, I get it. I'm, I'm going over this draft real quick. Let me, let me, let me go through this draft. <laughs> this is, ther- this is right. therapeutic for me. So, and the reason that I, wanted, I, I, I was thinking about going zero RB is because, like, all these running backs were falling. So, I ended up going Schultz in the fourth, but no one I was going to get Bateman in the fifth. Because else, else I could have gone Terry McLaurin. So, I wanted a more unique zero wide receiver build. You went Lutz? Mm-hmm. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so sixth round comes around, and this is the crazy part. This is like where like I messed up because I had Bateman and I had my eye, my my mind set on getting Lamar Jackson, but there was still Jalen Hurts on the board, mm-hmm. Justin Herbert was still on the board, mm-hmm. and Kyler Murray was still on the board, and I'm at the 105. So I'm thinking to myself, man, there's a chance that it like didn't fall back to you. It didn't fall back to me. Only one guy between the one and through four position took a running back. So on the way it was back, a quarterback Justin, run. yeah, no, there was you. not. Justin Herbert fell all the way to seven eight. Mm, Kyler Murphy, Kyler Murray to seven nine. I felt so sick. So either way, I ended up going Lamar Jackson. I passed on J.K. Dobbins. I passed. Wait, on. why'd you feel sick about that? Because I could have gotten. I, I probably could have gotten Lamar in the seventh. Okay, yeah. but you just said you took Lamar. I know I took him in the six, but I could have waited. Oh, oh okay. That's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. I could have saying. Because I, pa- I ended up passing on J.K. Dobbins, which, okay, maybe trap play. David Montgomery, at least a safe play that I can throw in there. I passed on Ramondre. Chase Edmonds was the biggest one. And I, feel, I still feel sick about that. I feel like I should not have passed on Chase. Passed on Damian Pierce. Passed on Cam Akers. And then at this point, I'm like, I got, I'm looking at Tony Pollard, Clyde Edwards, Penny, Jacobs. And I'm like, you know what? If this team is going to have any chance, like, I need the guy who's going to, like, have the most upside. So, went Tony Pollard. And then I finished it out with Singletary, Brian Robinson, Michael Carter, Madison, well, Who are the Wilson, other running backs you Eno, had to choose from around Mark that? Mark Ingram, Hilliard. Who, who's the other running backs around that, that time that you had to choose from? After Tony Pollard? Yeah. Kareem Hunt, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, Josh Jacobs, Rashad Penny. Those are the guys who went, uh, who went after me before my next pick. I, mean, I hear you. I hear you. So I mean, uh, uh, in uh, essence, in essence, like I feel like I'm strong everywhere else. You know, I'm just weak at that like RB one. Yeah. And really, like I, I'm starting to like look at the board, especially in this FFP league, FFPC league, where it's only two running backs, two wide receivers, but it's two flex. I'm starting to look at it as like all of these are individual positions to some degree. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't matter if it's an RB one, RB two, a wide receiver one, wide receiver two, like. These are all, this is position one, position two, position three, position four. So for me, I feel like I'm strong at seven or six to seven positions, Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm just weak at one. And I'm weak at the one where, like, I'm more likely to find someone and have someone hit. Yeah, that's irrelevant. Like like I was saying earlier, you know, drafting is literally less than half of the battle. Yeah. You can find these guys. If you look back at the end of the season last year, the – the league winners were the Rashad Pennies, the Rick Burkheads, yeah. the Dontra Hilliers, you know, those type of the Justin Jacksons. So don't get hung up on not getting or drafting these high-end guys now. You you, you have to kind of grind it out the full yeah. season. I, I think that's really the best way to put it. You have to grind because, you know, you don't want to draft your team and then sit on your laurels and say, oh, let's come back week 16 and see how – how it turned out. This ain't best ball. You know, yeah. this is yeah. this is a managed season long. This is a man's league. Yes. It's a man's <laughs> league. <laughs> and even if even and I'll even leave this one uh, extra caveat. Even if you think your team is great and your team, if you leave it as is, can take can go the rest of the way, you have to continue to pick up other guys that are valuable because if your league mates end up getting them instead of you, they can actually add them to their roster and they can end up making their roster stronger than what your roster is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the grind never stops, whether you're at the top of the standings or at the bottom of the standings. Uh, remember, especially if you're in this type of format, this is a, you know, thousands and thousands of teams competition. Mm-hmm. You're not just competing against the 11 other teams in your, in your league. I mean, yeah, you're competing to get that, that uh, ticket to the tournament, but you're still competing against 
thousands of other teams. So you want to make your team as strong as you can. So, again, so you can end up at the very top of the hill. So, you know, keep grinding, stay yeah. ready. So, Man, that's a great way to close it out. That's it for this main event draft that we have. Mm -hmm. Great episode, guys. Please like, rate, subscribe to this episode. Next week is the season finale. We're out. Peace.